<clears throat> so, you can see we have 3D Luigi on the screen. We got Soul Silver. And we are going to be We're going to be beating s Pokemon Soul Silver using only shiny Pokemon. That only shinies. I can't catch a Pokemon to use HMs. All of them need to be shiny. Every single one. It's a 1 in 8,000 chance to find a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it'll be fun. I think it'll be quite fun. Ah, all right. Yo, the help is at level four. I just noticed. How does it get so high? Uh, Zola Maiden, Aiden Brown, Dark Lulu, Jafafa, uh, Falcon King, Jakar, Mr. Infinity, uh, Bob, thanks for the gifted sub. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cute charm glitch. No glitches. You think I'm a cheater that uses glitches? There's no way. So yeah, this this will take a while. Um, I'll, I'll probably use speed up. We'll see how we feel. Well, for the first few, we won't use speed up, and we'll see how impatient chat is. We can barely hear it. It's because it's turned off. You probably shouldn't hear anything at all. Now you can hear it. But yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess it could be the ad secret. Speed up, just... Oh, wait, is it not? Ah, oh, crap. Speed, speed! Look at this. Speed up isn't even that much faster because it's a DS and it can't speed up. Oh, right, 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 we need a timer. I'm not gonna do a reset counter. Because that's just too much work. We're gonna be resetting so much for shinies. That it's just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. Okay. So. Let's just start. Um. Yeah, let's just start this. Yo, Black Sor. Cause what else do we gotta do? Here we go. Pokemon Soul Silver, but you can only use shiny Pokemon. Why did I decide this was a good idea? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> oh. And yes, the starter has to be shiny. No info needed. Yeah, me too. I just woke up. Oh, I overslept me too. Oh, I was late to the stream today. Cameron, streams things. Thanks to the Prime. I appreciate it. And Blue Tobias, thanks for the five months. Now, there is one... Or maybe a few reasons. There's a, a few reasons why I specifically picked Pokemon Soul Silver for this challenge. It's because it is the fastest game to start. It's going to take the least amount of time to start the challenge. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sounds good, boss. Are you a boy or a girl? I am a boy. We've been, we've been a girl in the last few games, so I'm going to be a boy this time. So you're a boy then? Yep, that's me. And I will, I will explain why we're going to be Ant, A-N-T, this is me, hello, Metachiral, thanks for the six months, blue badge, thank you, your name is Ant, yes, my name is Ant, which starter would I prefer, Totodile is probably my favorite from this generation, so ideally we get a uh, Totodile to start with, shiny, so we're going to be grinding. You have a 1 in 8,000 odds for a shiny starter. Will you reset? Yes. And I don't believe we can use save states. Because the RNG will be the same if we use save states. So we have to soft reset. You're finally awake. I am, yes. 
All right, favor asks you. Okay, I need to increase tech speed because my lord, it's slow. Okay, I, I know what all this stuff is. But yeah, there, there's, a, there's a chance we don't make it past the first Pokemon. I don't even know. This is going to be a grindy as all a hell challenge. Uh, tech speed fast. Uh, frame. We got any good frames? Let's see. You know, I like window three. We'll do window three. This will take hours. It'll take a few minutes. 20 minutes tops. It'll take 20 minutes tops. Okay, the Crete. Thanks for the two months. And Donkey Kong Jr. Thanks for the sub as well. The Prime. Almadar. Almadar. Thanks for the three. All right. This is going to be fun. It is. But yeah, the specific... Re oh, I need to change the settings, right? I, I had to re-get this thing. Give me a moment. Uh, there's like a setting I can change here. Ignore this. Ignore this menu. Um, I can't remember if it's this one. And that should fix the dots. Yeah, you saw there was those black dots on the floor. I just had to change it so it wasn't black dots. He's hacking. No, I'm not. <laughs> you guys know I have the patience to be legitimate here, all right? Uh, do we just go straight in? I can't remember how this works. He ain't using hacks. Yeah, you guys know I have the patience to actually do this. What setting fixes the black dots? You change the renderer. All right. Yo, thanks to the dollar, Bruce Fi. Are you gonna check all three? I'm check. I'm gonna. That's that was why I picked this game. We saw the cheats menu. I mean, there is an option for cheats, but like, here. Let me see. Tools, cheats list. It's empty. There's there's none. Just just to clear any of your guys' suspicions, if you had any. Do do. Hi, Elm. Been waiting for you. Do not. I know nothing about your research. No, Professor Elm. Blah blah blah. PJ, thanks for the tier one. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care that the device over here is Pokemon I can choose from. Okay. How's the volume, by the way? Is it good? Volume good? Sound good? Yo, Lim, what's up, dude? Volume's good? Okay. Let's do this. Still so busy going to our place, right? Over there. All right. So I'm gonna save right here. Yes. Good. All right, it's good. It's good. As long as it's not too loud. I'll turn it up to like 31. I think that's where it usually sits. Saving a lot of data. Ah, good old Gen 4. Saving a lot of data. So here are our, no. So here's the starters we can pick from. So we can touch the Pokeball. We see Chikorita, we can see Totodile, and we can see Cyndaquil. Now the great, the great thing about this. Thanks to a thousand bits, Mana Savannah. I appreciate it. Keith, through some tough times this year. I want to thank you. Pokemon challenges make me so happy. Smile, I love seeing chat freak out over what you name each Pokemon. Love you, Ant. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. All right, so the great thing about this generation is, you know, right here, before we even pick the Pokemon, before we even pick the Pokemon, you get to see if it's shiny. Because I believe that shows you if it's shiny. <clears throat> so, none of these are shiny. So let's try it again. And we're going to do this until we get a shiny. Now, you know what? No, no, we're not going to use speed up. For, for the first few attempts, no speed up, no RNG manipulation, no nothing. Net net netocracy, thanks for the three months. We're gonna do this legitimate. What are the odds? One in 8,192, I think. Or I guess technically three in 8,192. I think that's the exact number. All right, second try. Nope, let's do it again. I don't I can't make a reset counter because every time I, I don't have anything where I can just like press a button and reset counter Do you want me to set something like that up? I could set something like that up if you guys want Do you really want it? 
It'll take me a few minutes. Yeah, okay. I, I see enough people that are yeses. All right, all right, all right. All right, um... Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I just need a, like a text file that I can increase a, a number with whenever I hit a button. That's literally all I need. And it needs to be like, have global hotkeys as well. Use a calculator, but it doesn't have, um, one second. Let's see. Okay, went ahead and coded my own that acts as a bot as well. What? As a browser source in OBS. As long as you use OBS, you'll have the same access. Wish I deaths on. Uh, I just want something easy. Uh, DCSB. DCSB. Counter. Okay, it's a soundboard? Here, one sec. Oh, that's not right. Hopefully this doesn't, oh, it protected my PC. I don't think I should trust this. My PC won't let me open it. Should I do it? It seems legit. Stream is not dead. I mean, I'm trying to open up a thing, but it shows the stuff. Maybe let's not have a- you guys asked for a counter. Improved responsiveness. You know what? This seems pretty legitimate. It's just on a random GitHub, but I believe in it. I believe. More info. Run anyway. Oop! Would you like it allow to make changes to your device? No, it shouldn't have to make changes to my device. Excuse me, that's okay. That definitely wasn't a good thing to download. Okay. Um, counter is worth it. The counter is gonna be worth it just because so many damn people are gonna ask. <laughs> download. All right, let's download. Okay. Settings, I think I got one. Increment. Just give it a second, I'll set it up. It's just, I'm almost done. Almost done setting it up. I'm so sorry. You know, I guess I could just do this. Oh, this is good. Okay. That increments. Okay. Name. Add a counter. Resets. File. We'll create a file. Um, I just got to create a text file on my desktop. Give us, give me a moment. Text document. I just, I have to do this because capturing the, the DS is really weird. Um, file, save as. Resets on desktop. Okay. Desktop. Resets. All right. Increment by one. Okay, cool. All right, it's working. Um, I just need to grab the file in OBS. Okay, it's working now. Let me just grab the file. Text, add existing, we'll just do resets, okay. Ignore this, I'll change the text in a moment. And 
We will go properties, read from the file, browse which file, and I'm sorry this is taking so long to set up, but this is what you asked for. Do 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 Can I have text preceding this? Is there possible to have text preceding this? I don't know. Why not hard gold? Because we already did a hard gold challenge. Why is there so much space? No. Okay. Alright, now I'll just I'll just um I'll just add one more text info. No, that's the wrong info. Remove. Yes. You guys wanted it. It's taken a minute to set it up, but if it'll improve the quality of the stream, I'll do it for you guys. Text. Um. What is info to? Hey, there we go. That'll work. Okay. So do this. We'll do this. This is going to be so scuffed, but it's fine. Resets. Why is that? Why is that taking up so little space? What is going on? Why is it centered that way? Center. Okay. I don't quite understand, but here we are. Resets. All right. Height is good. Yes. Reset. This is so scuffed. This is so scuffed. Um. There you go. Save changes. All right. What what if we get this in like oh crap I moved the background. What if we get this in like 10 attempts and all of this was literally for nothing? What have I done? There we go. Okay. Like what if the ah oh, no, I want to grab the this. There we go. This is so scuffed, but that's what you get. The layout's fine. You ready? First try incoming. Let's do it. I need to fix this. It looks like crap. I'm so sorry. Just give me a moment. It, it, it looks like crap. Just give me a sec. I should be able to fix it in just a brief moment. Why is that so far over? Is there like... Why is that... I don't know why the, the thing has so much space. To the right. Maybe it's cropped. I don't know. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Good. Now we just gotta... Just gotta... Just gotta... And everyone was none the wiser. Looks good. Okay. <clears throat> you need a space to get at least 10,000 there? If we need to update it, we'll update it. Alright. Chikorita, Tota Dial, Cyndaquil. And it should update. Hey, it updated. Good. So, it updates whenever I reset. Basically, whenever I hit the reset button, it, it increments. No. I do not want the uh, Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Imagine if two of the shot, if two of them were shinies, that would be just astronomically, uh, astronomic odds. So yeah, the the odds are not the the best, but uh, we're here. Do, 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 do. Rip the rest of the run then. How long will this take? So every single time we reset, we have a three in about three and eight thousand chance to get a shiny. Um. So yeah, we're we're a shiny hunter today. Are you only going for Totodile? So the reason why I specifically chose this game is because there is a three in eight thousand one hundred ninety-two chance whenever we do this, rather than a one. This game is three times the odds of getting a shiny starter. 
because you can check all of the starters. There's no RNG manip? Correct. No RNG manip. That's not how statistics work. There is a three times chance. Game counter gives five. I'm not sure what you mean, game counter. This will take a while. No, it won't. I'm lucky. All right. I'm lucky. I just checked. It actually shows if it's shiny. That's true. The odds are about one in 2,700. Is the shiny Gyarados allowed? So let's think about it. Let's let's think. Let's use our brains here. It says in the title, only shiny Pokemon allowed. Would I be allowed to use a shiny Gyarados? I think so. <laughs> First time here, what's up? We are getting some shiny Pokemon. It's 1 in 8,000 for each star. Oh, I can't scroll. Chat is auto-scrolling. It's 1 in 8,000 for each starter. I mean, the there's three times the chances. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to get fast at this. I wonder when this run will start today. What oh, has started 18 minutes ago? We're feeling good. Imagine resetting out of muscle memory. So many shiny starters do that, yeah. Do 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 Cyclan, thanks for the 14 months. I appreciate it. Actually, I need to move this over to there. That'll work. Uh, David Bishop, thanks for the prime. And Asian Nazazel, thanks for the five months. Good K, thanks for the prime. Camden. Thanks for the four months and Alpha. Thank you for the tier two. Cranio FX, thank you as well. A magical hero. Alright. Do 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 do. I have a question. You know in um Did you know that the eggs in Pokemon uh gold and silver? The egg that you get from the daycare, I think it has like a 1 in 64 or a 1 in 32 chance to be a shiny. Does anyone know if that's the case in this game as well? Oh, that's only in Crystal, sorry. Is that in this game too? That is not in this game. Dang. Why are you doing this? I am doing this because... I believe I can. I believe I can do it. Speed up? I mean, if we use speed up, I would probably ch mute the audio. We'll, we'll use speed up if we hit 100 and don't have a shiny. Starters are shiny locked in soul silver. No, they're not. Oops. Look at this. The grass type Pokemon in the Pokeball. Cyndaquil, a shiny. That's so weird. Totodile, shiny. That's so weird. We did it, guys. That was fast. Alright, so they're not shiny locked. Sh starters aren't shiny locked till Gen 7. The sh the f it's diseased. Diseased Pokemon only. I, I need to figure out why it won't let me pause chat. I'm trying to pause chat, but it won't let me. It's hard to read some messages. All right, let's do it again. What's a shiny lock? So certain Pokemon in the newer Pokemon games are locked so they can never be shiny. Never. Like starters and legendaries for whatever reason. That's dumb, it is dumb. There's no reason to do it. It just takes the fun out of it, you know? Big Ant 2. Oh, never mind, you got it, 7B. 
All right, yeah, once we get to 100 resets, I will allow us, or maybe more, to start using speed up. Until then, no speed up because I'm feeling lucky. I am feeling lucky. Did I read your sub message, Rexa? I think I missed it. Um. Yo, thanks for the 169, Barry. You've been visited by the Barry Fairy. The stream is now blessed. Thank you. Want to make it a bit more interesting? Say that you have to have a full party before beating Red? No, I prefer to have fun. I prefer to have fun. What are the odds for a shiny starter? There's like... Three chances every time you get the starter, and each Pokemon has a 1 in 8,192 chance. How many resets a minute? A few. Could have been the modcast stream. All right. What's the player name? It's Ant. Ant is the player name. Yo, my name is Stacy. Thanks for the sub. All right. This is exhilarating. Oh, it is. I could be a shiny at any point. We could get a shiny in the next attempt. Who knows? How can you tell if Chikorita is a shiny? I don't know. What's it look like? Whoops. Pika wing, thanks for the prime. But yeah, we got we got good. It's golden colored. Yeah, if we see a golden colored Chikorita. All right. So this will be the first time I've actively done any shiny hunting on stream. So what can we talk about? All right. It's kind of sad that 5k people. Oh my god. Please read the rules. I I'd never even set that to be automatically bopped by the bot because I didn't think that would have been an issue. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Cringy story. I don't really know. Nova Knight, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. All right, tell a story. Tell a story. Okay, I'll try and think of a story. What what could we talk about? Um, what could we talk about? Yo, Tyler Mo Noonan, thanks for the prime. Hmm, story time, school story. Are you just resetting for a shiny starter? We are, yes. Let's see, let's see. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Um, oh man. I have a story kind of with pancakes. I don't know. Um, just something weird. I don't know quite what it was, but when I was in high school, I was in like the group that organized all the school events. Like we had a relatively small high school and uh, generic username. Thanks. Um, and essentially the, the person that the, the people that applied the school events were like a group of students that were just trusted by the teachers. We didn't have any oversight by any teachers. We just organized events. So, um, we ended up planning like a pancake breakfast for the, the last day of school before Christmas. This was in, holy crap, this was in 2012. This was in 2012. And, uh, so on that day, we'd, we'd go into school really early at like 6 a.m. and start cooking food for when people came in. And then in the morning for their first class, they would come down and grab pancake breakfast and wear pajamas. It was great, it was great. Um, and... There's a few things that, that, that were kind of interesting there. First off, walking into a school at 6 a.m. is a weird feeling, because no one is there and it's completely empty. I was just able to healy down the hallways. It was the best. Um, so, but, but the one thing is, we had this whipped cream, and the jugs that they came in, it wasn't called whipped cream, it was whipped topping, was the name of it. And it was whipped topping because it was not cream. It tasted exactly like whipped cream. But it was not. Like, it came in jugs, and it lo just looked like oil. Like, the regular vegetable oil is what it looked like. And you'd like, put a, put it a, uh, like a, a mixer in it. 
and you just like whip it for like an hour and then once you introduce enough air into it it turned into like a whipped cream it the taste it turned into like a whipped topping that tasted had the exact texture of whipped cream it was so strange but it looked you know, like you didn't have to refrigerate it when you opened it up it was it was very like uncomfortable to make it and like the people that um the people that like ate it had no idea that it wasn't whipped cream but it, it wasn't whipped cream it was whipped topping and it was like I, I didn't eat it i was like i'm just gonna have like the the blueberry sauce stuff that we made or stra strawberry sauce yeah just this huge jugs of oil I just saw someone say the forbidden cream. <laughs> What's up, Patters? Not a cool story to attend. I mean, I'm trying to come up with something related to pancakes. Thanks for the 500 bits, Jay Brownie. All right. Do 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 do. Is this gonna be a video like Platinum No Damage? I don't know, we'll see. All right, Turtle, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Turtle says it's gonna take me 11 hours to get a, get this. But I think I'm lucky. I don't think it's gonna be that long. <clears throat> Bad touch, thanks for the three months. Any ghost stories? Ghost stories. Um, I do have one. It was. I believe it was Christmas Day. I believe it was Christmas Day. I was sitting in my room. I had just gotten my Nintendo DS for the first time. My original Nintendo DS, like a light blue DS, the one that came with Nintendogs. And I had gotten Pokemon Dash. I played Pokemon Dash for 30 minutes and that's really all you need to play to, to get the full experience. It sucks. Um, and then I was playing Nintendogs. I just named my dog, my golden retriever, Lot. I couldn't come up with a name, don't judge it. He's a really good boy, that's all you need to know. And... I ended up- did you have seven Nintendo DS's at one point? Yes, I, I owned seven Nintendo DS lights at one point. Um, but that's besides the point. I didn't have seven Nintendo DS lights yet. Someone redeemed Yee Chunky Ronky. Goodbye. Um, and so... I was sitting in my bedroom. My parents had gone to... I don't know, I think they were like downstairs or something. I don't know. I, I was just sitting in my in my uh, bedroom, and I'm sitting in there. And then the TV it turns itself on all by itself at max volume for whatever reason, just a maximum volume. It turns itself on, and I think it was just a coincidence. Yo, someone redeemed Chunky Runky. All right, he's hanging out. He's hanging out. He was here for the day. And I, I think it may have just been coincidence, like it may have just been like a power surge or something. But it was like, like a murder investigation so, show and it was showing something pretty graphic on screen. I remember walking out to like look to see what happened and it was just like a dead body on the floor and I'm like, oh, oh how nice. Yeah, and so I like shut the TV off and continued playing with Lot. I taught him to shake a paw or whatever. Does the reset counter automatically go up? Yeah. I mean, it's what automatically goes up. Nothing like Christmas with a side of murder. It was the, the ultimate present. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do you have increased odds? No. Why would I have increased odds? Hey, you want to do a uh, shiny only challenge, but it's a 100% chance to get a shiny? Isn't that just a regular playthrough? Oh, no, no, uh, like a 1 in 100 chance to get a shiny. So it's just a regular playthrough, but you have to go through 100 battles every time you want to catch a Pokemon, okay. I don't 
get that. What's the point of doing a shiny only challenge if you have increased odds? It's just a normal playthrough, but slower. As is a, that, I mean, this is a a normal one. Any Home Alone stories? Uh, yeah, there was a, there was a movie based on it actually, um, based on me. When I was a kid, there was uh, someone that that came into our house, and uh, oh, actually, I was just gonna completely tell you a BS story, but I have a real one. Um, uh, you said to Dono, thanks for the eight dollars, cattle. My money is depending on you getting a shiny on try sixty nine. I hope. So I had this, it was like a, a cap gun, where it was like a clear green gun that you had like a ribbon of like little like when when you hit them with anything hard, they like go pop, you know? I had one of those as a kid and you could just like shoot it and it would sound like a real gun. Um, and I remember screwing around with it for a while because like, how does this work? Why, why does it do that? And I like took it apart and there was like not a, a magazine per se, but in the top of it, there was like a little thing that like, um, that would, that would open up with like a, a spring to, uh, be able to like load in more ribbon, more like cap ribbon or whatever it's called. I don't know. Um, and then, um, I, I, you wanted the next badge? Edman, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Thank you. What the heck? Um, but yeah, I ended up doing, I, I remember messing around with it, and I was like, I wonder if I can make this into something that actually hurts someone, you know? And I remember thinking about it, I was like, what if someone breaks into that house, and I have to beat them up? I remember thinking about that, because I just watched, like, Home Alone or something, as a kid, you know? I need to be able to beat up the bad guys like the kid from Home Alone. And so, I remember, like, I was like, I'm gonna modify it and make it better. And so I just, like, hammered some nails into, like, the hard plastic of the... into the hard plastic of the... Um... I hammered, like, some nails into the hard plastic of the gun from the side. Not any that the nails were sticking out, but they were just like, I just broke the toy. The thing is, I don't know what happened. But I broke the toy in the way that whenever I would pull the trigger, instead of doing nothing because it was broken, it would inse instead fling up the magazine where you would put the, um, where you would put the little caps. And I found this, like, screw with a circle on the end of it. So it was, like, a point with, like, a circle. Like a... Like this, except there was a full circle in it. And I, I could slide that into a pin in the magazine part. And whenever I pulled the trigger, it would just launch a screw straight out at whatever I was pointing at and just stab into it. Like, I remember just, like, shooting it at the, at the, uh, at the stairs. I remember shooting it at the stairs and it would just like lodge itself straight into them and I'm like that's a little dangerous that'll work so I made like a toy gun into a real thing that like launched a projectile at high speed I turned a toy gun into a real gun at the age of like seven <laughs> yeah I remember keeping that in my toy box I was like if I ever need this I got it. <laughs> That's unreal, yeah. I'm not- I can't remember if I- if it was like a deliberate conscious decision. It like, I'm gonna put the nail here, here, and here, and then this should happen. Or if I was just like... And just hoping something would happen, you know? <laughs> it, it was- it wasn't a pin, it was like a screw that- That was supposed to like, you put- put rope through the hole or something, like... Like, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to call it. Did your mom ever find it? It's a toy gun that I- it just looks like a toy gun that I broke. Do you still have the gun? Honestly, the gun is still probably in my toy box. Lol, I remember it was broken. My mom remembers the gun that I had made. Nice. Nice. All right. Dino Hunter, thanks for the Prime. I'm trying to think. 
CBG Ander, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. This is gonna be a long setup. It'll take a little bit, yeah? Did your mom ever tell you about the placements of the test? She said she's not at home right now, so she wasn't able to check. But she does have them somewhere. I'm trying to think of any, any other things that I did as a kid. Hmm. Oh, do we need a challenge command? If you guys want to add it, sure. But literally just have... In, as it, it just says... You can only use shinies. We already have a challenge command? Okay, cool. It's in the title? I did not realize that it was in the title. Thank you, thank you. Someone asked if we should have one. One of the mods, I think. I am going to start a YouTube channel. Do you have any recommendations for a microphone? Here's the thing. If you're just starting out, use what you can get as long as you're understandable and it doesn't take an incredible amount of effort to to be heard and for someone to understand it's fine i started with a crappy headset mic like you don't you don't want to invest like here we go reset number 69 you really don't want to invest a ton of money into something that sure it'll be a nice hobby but don't spend like hundreds of dollars on a good mic if you're just starting out because there's no reason to. But this is pretty nice! <sighs> Maybe next time. Sixty-nine... Plus one. Damn. Yo, Adoiba! Thanks for the four months! Appreciate it! My first ever shiny... That, my first ever shiny! I'll tell you guys about my first ever shiny. My first ever shiny, I didn't realize it at the time, was luckier than you could have ever even imagined. So in Pokemon Emerald, I thought to myself, I have never, ever seen a shiny. I have like, at that point in time, I think I had around 600 hours. No, no, I, I, this was in high school, so I, I must have, I had 999 hours on Pokemon Ruby. I had uh, probably 200 hours on my crystal, and I think 150 on Pokemon Blue, something like that. And I remember thinking to myself, I've still never seen a shiny Pokemon. So one day, I started a Pokemon Emerald, and I said, I'm going to get a shiny Rayquaza today. I am going to do it. So I saved right in front of Rayquaza, and soft reset for four hours. Four hours. And, uh... And it was like 11 p.m. Didn't get it. Didn't get the shiny. So I started up the next morning. Soft reset while I was watching TV for another three hours. And after three hours... The black Rayquaza appeared. And I caught it with my Master Ball. So it took me seven hours to get a shiny Rayquaza. And I was freaking out. I was so excited. I caught it, and then the first thing I did, because it was an emerald, was I duplicated it. I copied it like five times, so I had six of them. Um, the thing with RNG and Pokemon Emerald and Shiny RNG is that it is completely broken. And that it's not really luck. When you get a Shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. Because whenever you start up the game, it like resets something. So every, if you hit, if you get to Rayquaza at the same time, every single time, it will literally never be shiny. Yo, ha ha Hayden, thanks for the 10 months. So, I was soft resetting and if there wasn't a shiny Rayquaza near the near the the reset of the game then there was a chance that I never ever could have even possibly got a shiny Rayquaza but i just so happened that right when i started up the game there happened to be one specific frame and it was probably a reset 
that I had waited a little bit longer for. Maybe I got distracted and was looking at the TV and took a while to start up the game and press A on it. That I happened to hit the specific frame after I started up the game that made it so it was shiny. It was a single frame, like a little bit later on after I started, that I just happened to hit. What are you doing after this? Um, probably gonna start playing the game. That's pretty neat, yes. There's a chance to start with a shiny starter. There's a 100% chance we start with a shiny starter because it's a shiny only challenge. There's no way we can proceed without a shiny starter. Yo, Felt, thanks for the Prime, appreciate it. And Blonde and Proud, thanks for the Prime as well. Appreciate the support, thank you so much. Which one do you think you're gonna get? I hope it's Totodile. That's how it works in almost every Pokemon game? No. Whenever you start up a Pokemon game, the internal clock, I think, affects the RNG as well. So it does not work like that. Gonna farm a six shiny team? I'm gonna farm as many as I need. If I need six Pokemon to beat the game, I'll use six. If I need one Pokemon to beat the game, I'll use one. Spoilers, we definitely need more than one just because there's more HMs than that. Um, we'll see though. Time will tell. Does an internal clock start at Gen 4? In Gen 3, I believe there is an internal clock. Cookie Chris, thanks for the Prime. Ruby Sapphire and Emerald is completely broke when it comes to RNG, yeah. Cause Shoal Cave, exactly. We should listen to some music. After we get to 100 resets, I said we would speed it up a little bit. And, uh, we do it. It'll take 20 minutes, it will! Only 20 minutes, that's it! Do you know how this may take- You know this may take several IRL days? No, it won't. No, it won't. That video showed hit all of them at once, it hit two of them at once. Which is a one in approximately six- one in 640,000 chance? What is 8,000 times 8,000? Is that 64,000? Or 640,000? Or 6.4 million? Would that be 6.4 million? Yo, beep, beep, boop. Yeah. The, the odds of that happening are... are 67 million? There's no way. Isn't a thousand times a thousand? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I need to do the math. Do, do, do. Where's the calculator? Oh, I can just do this. What's 8,172 squared? 8,172 squared. 66,781,000. It's like... 60 something million. It's a one in 60 thousand. It's a one in 60 million chance of getting two shinies That's probably the only time in the in the entire world that'll ever happen 8072 close enough Oh, it's slightly better odds than that, but most likely that is the only time it will ever happen. It'll ever happen. What if one appears and you accidentally reset out of habit? I think I'll most likely cry. Still on the starter? I've reset 90 times. It's a 1 in 8,000 chance. Of course I'm still on the starter. You don't think I'm that astronomically lucky. If it happens early, people will get suspicious. Honestly, I might reset on purpose if we're at, like, attempt number 96 and we get it. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> it's a 1 in 550 billion to get all the shinies, yeah. Oh, geez. Was there a raid, Jacker? No. There was no raid. Do -do 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 -do. Yo, 
Yo, Epsilon, thanks for the Prime. What's your favorite area of maths? I'm not- I don't know enough about it to have a favorite one. Okay. You should gift one sub for every 100 resets. Sure. Sure. Every hundred resets, I'll give the sub. Yo, someone redeemed playing ad. Let's go. I don't want that. I don't want it. Could, could we just, could we do it where, um, at the very end, I gift them all? At the very end, could I gift them all once we get the shiny? I'll just gift a, do a gift bomb? That sound alright? Yeah? Alright. Once we find the shiny, I'll drop a gift bomb of however many hundred uh, encounters we have. If it takes a thousand encounters, ten subs. If it takes ten thousand encounters, hundred subs. I'll do it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Which starter do you not want? I don't want Chikorita. I really don't want Chikorita. Do 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 do. Why? Why not? You know? Alright, we're at zero, zero resets. Let me fix that. <laughs> That's one. Oh, I see. Crap, I accidentally moved it. That looks good. Okay. Last attempt here. We're at 100 resets. Uh, oop, oop. No, okay. Is there like a toggle? Now, I think I may... Do something like this. Because this will be a little bit faster, right? My brain is going to have to work a little bit better, but this would work. But the thing is, what if I miss a shiny now? Right? Yo! Poncho, thanks for the prime. Then the stream ends. <laughs> then I cry, yes. Do it slowly. I go through them twice to make sure. Alright. If I miss a shiny, if I just miss a shiny, I'll just gift 100 subs. Like, I, that, that'll motivate me to never miss one, right? Money. Speeding you up stresses at all, I'll probably... Here, here's what I'll do, here's what I'll do. One sec, one sec. Sound settings, we're just gonna... Turn that bad boy down to that. Alright, um, we're back. I turned the volume off. Alright, um... Let's do it.
All right. Let's get this. Don't forget the ad, right? I gotta do an ad. Okay, what could we? What could the ad be? Did you ever get a solid? Okay. Uh, so you know how yesterday people were like, "You're Twitch famous." They they said I was Twitch famous, and I was like, "No, no, no." And then they're like, "If I go to a random Roblox stream, and there's 30 people in the stream, and I say hello, the person won't know who I am. No one will know who I am." And you know yesterday how I went to a Roblox stream and did that. And I didn't have audio on, but the streamer looked like she knew who I was. The thing was, she didn't, didn't know who I was. It was when I followed, she clicked on my name and saw my follower count. Thank you for the four gifted subs, Shiny Bubblesaur. I appreciate it. So she didn't know who I was, because I checked after the stream. I checked after the stream that... That, like, I, I went into the stream and I was like, Hello. And she was like, oh, You have so many followers. And I was like, okay. I'm also a, a human being, I'm not just a number. But then when I went into her chat, she didn't recognize me. But then someone was like, Smolin, he's the Mario guy. And I'm like, ah, oh. someone did recognize me. <laughs> also, we're not having media share because it, the, the, the mods need like pre prep. To be able to do that, and we didn't prep. We, we literally can't do Meteor Share. Evo Dario, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Sorry, he's the nipple guy. Salmon Prime, thanks for the Prime. And Poncho, thanks for the sub as well. Entertainment at its finest? Oh, absolutely, yes. I'm, fa I'm not famous. I'm not. I'm the pencil sharp. I'm going to be the pencil sharpening guy. Speaking of pencil sharpening guy, uh, let me play a 60 second ad break. Why am I in the bag? Uh, Master Valero, thanks for giving a sub. I appreciate the support. Um, speaking of pencil sharpening, the ad is going. Um... I am not going to sleep tonight until a new video is uploaded on the channel. It's how I got the pencil sharpening world record or how I became the fastest pencil sharpener in the world. It's a post commentated video. Good production value. It's feeling very good. It's it's turning out. It's going to be a late night for me though because it's going to take a while. Be excited for it. That's your ad secret for the day. There you go. Yeah, it's gonna be a very late night because I'm only half done the video. Yo, Cindy Egg, thanks for the four months. All right, the secret is cool. It is pretty good, yes. I keep thinking the 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 Cyndaquil is shiny for whatever reason. My brain is like a shiny Cyndaquil already. What the heck? Bro, this is the wackest challenge. It's so dumb. It's so dumb, but I'm doing it. I'm here. Have you ever owned a Furby? As a kid, I have owned a Furby. But I don't currently have one in my possession. Don't you have that, that hobby of like making custom like long Furbies or something? That's you, right? <laughs> yes, you have seven. They're incredible. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right. A drive did something like that, but it was a Nuzlocke. So the first Pokemon in the route had to be a shiny for him to catch it. Oh, that sucks, man. Do 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 do. You are now embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. That was sick. They look so cute. <laughs> 
Uh, what was your first shiny ever? Shiny Rayquaza. What games do you play? Uh, this one for the rest of my life, probably. That's how long it's gonna take. Good luck, man. You'll need it. Oh, I will. I absolutely will. Gonna be 546. You think? We'll see. We'll see. Is the Chinese ch Chinese chance higher than usual? It's a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Once it happens. Very brave challenge. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do do. It's a 50-50 chance. Either it's shiny or it's not. Exactly right. I don't want Totodile. I mean, I do, but later. When it's shiny. Yeah, it's a 100% chance we finish... We get a shiny starter in this challenge. 100% chance. I'm willing to put in an infinite amount of time. Gupta, thanks for the two months. I appreciate it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. This is entertainment at its best. Oh, absolutely. It really is, isn't it? No, don't walk. Woo! Like, I'm feeling lucky, so... I, I can't imagine it's gonna take that many attempts. I, I, I'm just... I'm just lucky. That's all you need to know. Do, 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 do. Would you consider yourself a masochist? No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm a masochist. Gonna do all 16 gyms in red? We'll see. If, if you guys want me to continue after we defeat the, the Elite Four, I will. Editing for this is gonna be a hell? No, it's gonna just be like, hey, it took only 500 attempts and then we got it, because I'm lucky. It'll just be like, I'm lucky, and they'll be like, ah, oh, first try. And we'll make everyone th on YouTube think it was first try. Okay. You know what would be fun? If every single time you turned this it reset the pokemon to see if it was shiny that way you could just like rotate like all right that's a new totodile that's a new cyndaquil that's a new chikorita every time that'd be really nice haha <laughs> silly youtube mm -hmm. tell them anything and they'll believe it <laughs> you totally missed the shiny i mean we wouldn't have to reset we would just rotate a little bit more slowly I always think Totodile is shiny because it's really similar. <clears throat> Can other trainers randomly have shiny Pokemon? There's a few in the game in the Battle Tower that I think have shinies. I think one of them is a shiny Espeon. Yo, Casey Don, thanks for the tier one. Welcome to the Iconi. I do appreciate the support. Yeah, Totodile is like a mint. It's basically, it's like a slighter, slightly lighter blue, but I think it's fins or, or it's horns on his back, whatever they are. A little bit different. Oh, that's Fire Red Leaf Green with a shiny. My bad. Fire Red has it. What are the odds of finding a shiny? 100%. Check this out. Boom. Boom. And it's going to be here. Chikorita. Next attempt. Sorry, I mixed it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, do. Add. I can't play an ad yet because I just played one. I have to wait for the cooldown. Do, do, do. What's my highest viewers at some point? Um, I think I've reached like 11k with a raid. I've reached 11k before. New song, new song. All right, sounds good, new song. What, um, what's the song from what, po we're gonna play Pokemon music in the background, but what song, which, which one? Let's see. All right, a turn to city. That was the first one. We'll do a turn to city then. I'll ask you again once the turn to city is over.
I love it. I love it. Thank you. The music does not fit the setting. It's just hyperspeed. It's too quiet. All right. You don't like my humming over top of it? There we go. It's a bit more of a jam. I said, you guys, every single time you guys tell me something, I'm just going to ignore it. When this is over, when the music is over, you guys can't see what I'm pointing at. When the music is over, that's when you can request a song. Be patient. I'm ignoring any requests until then. Until I ask again. What do you ever do? ROM hacks? I do them all the time. Custom ROM, ha ROM hacks for challenges. All the time. Chat's ever patient? I know. What can we talk about to distract people? Can you tell a happy story? A wholesome story? Hmm. A happy story. What? A heartwarming story? <sighs> God. I mean, I could tell you, I can't think of really anything that, that sticks out a lot. There, there's one thing that does, but I can I explain why I feel like I'm lucky. Because I, I feel like I'm very lucky. All the time. You guys know what a 50-50 is? You know, at like, maybe some certain sports games or certain random events. There's like a 50-50 where um, you can buy tickets. And it's kind of like a lottery where... 50% of it goes to some charity or some organization and uh, in like the prize pool and then 50% goes to a single winner, right? In short And you know, one sec one sec I have an important message. Give me a sec. Super important. It is. It's super important. It was a priority. A priority message. What was I saying? Oh, right. Yeah. So 50 50, like lotteries, essentially, or like sort of things where you can win money. Every single 50 50 draw I have ever entered, I have won. Every single one. I was at a sports, uh, like a hockey game, the only hockey game I've ever been at. There was a 50 50 draw. My mom bought tickets, and she was like, here, take half. You can just have them for free. And also, I've never even entered them either. My mom was always like, here's some tickets. And then I would always win at a hockey game. I won it. I won like a few hundred dollars. At, uh, there was like a, a snowmobile event where a bunch of people like were snowmobiling and it was like a get together. There was like probably, I don't know, it, the, the odds aren't super low, but not super high either. A few hundred dollars. Yeah, as a little kid, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy so many Pokemon games with this. Uh, then the next one, it was like a, a snowmobiling, I don't know even what it's called. Uh, but like 50 people all snowmobile through like some mountains and then end up at a certain place and they have like food. And it's like a charity thing. Snowarama is, yeah. So it, I think they called it like Snowarama or something. It was just a little event in the, the, the town over. So we did that. And again, my mom gave me, she bought 10 tickets and gave me five and I won a few hundred dollars again. Like it was, I, there was another one that I was, when I was with, um, with some other family members, I'm fairly sure I just found a ticket on the ground that someone had dropped and it was a single ticket and I just had won it. It was like a, 
It's in like a school gymnasium or something. I can't remember what the event was. But like, it's just, I've never bought into 50-50, but I just always win it. Like, I don't have any interest in, in entering a 50-50, but whenever I get given tickets, I just win. So if you guys are ever with me at a live event, the best play is to buy a single ticket and say, hey, I'll give you half if you win. Or give me half if you win, and then you give the ticket to me, and then you'll guaranteed get money, all right? <laughs> all right, so if you ever have a lottery ticket, just give it to me, and just, uh, just say, hey, will you give me half? And I'll be like, yeah. And we're, we're guaranteed to be millionaires. It sounds like a scam. No, I swear I'll give you the money. P.O. Box is gonna get a lot of lottery tickets. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, here's you. You, you give me one lottery ticket, and I'll, I'll give you two lottery tickets back. Okay. That the, you just, just trust me. Okay. It, it'll, it'll work. Now, I, I'm not sure if the, the lottery ticket is going to be winning or losing lottery tickets, but I'm I'm sure you'll find out when you get them. You know, see? <laughs> Just trust me, said no one trustworthy ever. You can trust me. Look. Did you pick the 30 minute version of the song? I may have. I may have also picked a 10 hour version of the song. DK Acid, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Do 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 Source, just trust me, bro. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me, bro. We're good. Uh, I'm good for it, man. I'm good for it. If I, if I win a million dollars... Because you give me your, your ticket, we, we'll, we'll figure it out. Trust, trust me. Do a coin flip. I want to test this. I don't have any coins. I'm not about that change life. Isn't there a coin flip app on the poke etch? If only there was a poke etch in this gen. There is on Discord. There's a poke catch on Discord. Bad touch, thanks to the gifted sub. I appreciate it. He's trustworthy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You deserve a mill, dude? No. I do not want a mill. No, I, I have enough bad memories with a mill. Do you know what I did? You know what I did before before I streamed? I worked at a mill, a sawmill. I don't want another mill. I did I did I worked for five years at a sawmill. I don't want to go back. I don't need a mill. You can have it. You have a day job? Uh yeah, it's streaming. This man would make an amazing lawyer. That's what my parents said growing up. Did you ever go to SawCon? Only if he asked nicely. Doo -doo -doo. This challenge is called a shiny lock. No, it's not. Doo -doo. Do I have a night job? Yeah, it's editing. That's also my morning job. Dangerously, yeah, every hundred, every hundred resets. It's another gifted sub. Eat, edit, stream, edit, repeat. That's me. Do you sleep and eat? No. My hands keep moving while I sleep, maybe. A sawmill explains pencil sharpening. That's why I'm so good about pencil sharpening. Exactly. Do, 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 do. 
All right, new song. New song. What's the new song? All right, Guzma. It's your boy, Guzma. <sighs> It's your boy, Guzma. I strongly dislike this. This one definitely won't last as long as Eternity City. I'll, I'll get old. I'll get sick of this pretty quick. I wonder whose voice this is. What are you doing? I'm getting a shiny starter. I smoke crack 856. Thanks to the tier one. Appreciate it. We should pick a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon song next. Guess what's happening tomorrow? End of the world? Oh, actually, I think I know what's happening tomorrow. Give me a sec. I need to do something. Uh, I opened up my own stream back soon. I need to check. I need to check something real quick. Gift a sub. To a specific viewer. Ah, perfect. It's not available. Ah. Oh. I miss it? Did I miss it? It's too late? No. Did someone else do it? Oh, Raven already did it. How long? For how long? Next month? Okay. So, uh, Point Crow has Nightbot, right? And right now, you guys can see Claws a lot thanks to the tier 1 and Burger King thanks to the Prime. Right now, you can see that if you, if you see Nightbot in chat, you see that he is a tier 3 sub. That tier 3 sub is permanent. I requested to Twitch that Nightbot permanently had a tier 3 sub. The thing is, to request, to request that from Twitch, to request that from Twitch, you need... You need Nightbot to not have a sub. So what I was going to do today, because today is the day that Nightbot's sub runs out because someone gifted Nightbot a sub last week, or last month, in Point Grow's channel, was because multi-month gifts now exist, I was going to gift 12 months of tier one to Nightbot. So Nightbot never has a tier three sub on Point Grow's channel ever. <laughs> But someone gifted it before me, so I'm not able to. So I gotta, so I gotta do it. It was such a good plan, but someone already did it for a month. So someone remind me on the 22nd, the morning of the 22nd next month, so I can do it. It's my evil plan. I, I haven't mentioned it on stream at all because I didn't want him to be reminded that he needed needed to do it, and I didn't want anyone else to do it. But someone else got it before me because you know what happens. <laughs> it's like the most it's it's not quite bullying but it's like it's kind of on the edge like it's like I'm literally giving him money money that he wouldn't have but it's frustrating money you know I, I'm literally paying $60 to do this $60 that he wouldn't other, uh, otherwise have but Nightbot doesn't have the emotes that he wants <laughs> Uh, but what happens tomorrow, Abby? I missed that.
Why does the world end tomorrow? Burgers and you are having lunch tomorrow. That's so exciting. You better better send so many pictures to the mod snap. The mod meetup. Let's go. Now the commands use tier three anyways. It's just about the disrespect, 7B. It's just about the disrespect. Er Oro? Or Oro? Thanks to the Prime. And Cheetah with a year. It's been a year. N not straight, but it's a big number. Hey, 12 months is a huge amount of time. What are the odds for a shiny? 1 in 8,192. 8 Why do you and Point Grove have beef again? We don't actually have beef. It's fake beef. We just mess with each other. We're friends. All right, all right. Um, it's so good. I love this song. Boop, boop. Oh yeah, Mystery Dungeon's next. I just saw this and I was like, you know what? I love this one. I whistle this. Like, off stream, this is a song that I just like, whistle a lot. Maybe it's Gen 1? I don't know. I definitely whistle, um... I definitely whistle one of the Game Corner themes off stream. Are you a millionaire yet? No. No one sent me their lottery tickets yet. Next year. Lugia is him? Oh, that's really good. Yeah, we should we should do that later. When do you get a shiny? When you give up. Once your brain gives up, but your body doesn't. Once you fully accept that this is gonna take the rest of your life is when you get the shiny. That's how it works. Then give up? All right. Uh, go through the five stages of grief? All right. Um, I'm still in denial. You got Ray. Thanks to the 671. Could you play Diamond or Pearl? Route 216 Night or Emerald Meteor Falls? All right, I'll see what I can do. Meteor Falls is pretty good. Gonna give up. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yeah, I can't just act. The game is all knowing. So that's something you can fake. You have to truly have it in your heart that that is how you feel. Shikuraro, thanks for the nine months. Alright. Give me Mystery Dungeon songs. We're doing Mystery Dungeon next. I'm trying to think of some other stories, maybe. What, what could I tell you guys about? I saw a lot of Primal Diaga. Oh man, I'm already at three gift subs. Every hundred gifts, or every hundred, 
Do Wigglytuff Guild? All right, that'll be next. I always love Wigglytuff Guild songs. They're good. This is catchy, though. Yeah, volume is a bit low, I agree. It's actually maxed out, though. Yeah, I can't change it. Yo, Sophia, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. Let's see, what else? I, I thought of a story, but I, I got interrupted in the middle of it. Thought of a story to tell of me as a kid. I'm trying to think of them. What could we be? What could we do? I smoke crack 856. Thank you for the gifted sub. Welcome to the Ant Colony Wachikaru. And yo, Alfred Dudley, thanks for the prime. What are your first impressions of all the mods? I don't really know. They all... I don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't... I, I, I don't think I can remember. Like a first impression. What do you read that out so enthusiastically? What do you mean? Someone's username? Yeah, the, the thing... Yeah, definitely with Biku is that... Red Bull and... Not sleeping... Was the... What, what Biku's life revolved around. And freezing... Freezing Red Bulls... A lot. Because you try and cool them down really fast, but it would just freeze them and they would explode. So that would happen. Because that came up like every stream. There's no way I could forget that one. I doubt Small and will see this. I see everything, this dude. I see everything. Matt, the, my, my first impression of Mac was Poggers. That is all. Mac was Poggers. Yo, Kirishina, thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Really grindy challenges time. It's a good one, though. Mac is Poggers. Yeah. Green Kiwi, thanks for the sub. <clears throat> Have you heard of the ice UK? Is that just the UK in the winter? Sunny, thanks for the prime. Yo, Crusher, thanks for the Prime. Zygon, thanks for the Prime as well. Alright, we're gonna play um, Wigglytuff Guild. It's the Wigglytuff Guild. Is it worth it to play the Pokemon with- beat the game with just one Pokemon? You can't. There's too many HMs that you need. And there's no Pokemon that's versatile enough with one of the starters. Alright, Weekly Tough Guild, let's go. Wiggly Tough Guild theme. Let's go! <laughs> it's just so it's so cute and just like a It's just so upbeat. It like it it just makes you feel good. Think the fat command is broken? No, it works great. What story do you want the most? I want a Totodile. Totodile is the cool one. Feel like the song is me, it suits you very well, yes. Oops. Whoops. Are you gonna use items for battle? Sure. Or maybe no, I don't know. We'll decide once we get the shiny. 
Do, 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 do. I bet you 20 bits you won't see this. So the thing with chat is that I see, and especially challenges like this, I see every message, but I can only read a few of them. So, like, no matter what you type, it's almost guaranteed that I see it. And I generally ignore messages that are like, hey, pay attention to me, please read this message, because that's just attention seeking, and I don't want to encourage that. I can't be encouraged that. Do you have any whack dreams you remember? Yeah. I had a whack dream when I was a kid. It was a waking dream. I had a dream that I wanted to test video games for, for a living when I grew up. I wanted to play video games and test them. That's whenever an adult would be like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'm like, you know what? I want to play video. I want, I want to test video games. And in my head, of course, that was like, I just want to play video games whenever I want. And, uh... It was a whack dream, but it worked out, huh? Yo, 13 months! Hope you're in good health. Thank you. I am in good health. And thanks for the five bucks. She in the Valkyria. Recently found my vids. I'm addicted now. Let's go. I can't ambassador. Thank you for the seven months as well. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yo, we're almost at 420 resets. That's when the hat kicks in. And at 420 is when we get our first shiny. Every sh every Pokemon after that is shiny after 420, so even if I miss it, we're still good. I'm kidding, of course, just in case it is actually shiny at 420. That's just a joke. That was for the sake of a joke. It's not... It's not actually the case. How long do these challenges normally take? I've never done this type of challenge before. For legal reasons, that's a joke, exactly. Do you have a musical background? I played piano growing up. Longest shiny hunt was 42,000 resets. Your shortest was three? Three resets? I mean, that's Gen 8, of course. They just hand you shinies left and right in, gen in the later gens. Yeah. All right, new song, new song, new song. What are we doing? Uh, a lot of people were saying. Piano? I need to turn this down. There we go. How good were you at piano? I, the next song that we'll play, I am able to play on piano. Yo, Ghost Killer, thanks for the tier one. There is one Pokemon song, actually there's two Pokemon songs that I learned how to play. One of them though, I think you guys may recognize and you guys have been requesting a lot did you do any great on piano i i don't know what that means Doo -doo -doo. but we'll let this go for a little bit till we get sick of it and then we'll switch to um a surprise some of you seem to know what it is Hello from YouTube. Hello, what's up? Do, do, do. do you still have a piano? I haven't played it, but I do, yeah. Do, 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 do. I love when you play the piano. 
You practiced songs a lot and it was really- I wasn't a really good mom, what are you talking about? I was only really good after I practiced. And we got to 420. Heck. Past 420, yeah? Zablob. Or Zab Zab Zablobob, thanks for the tier one. Or tier one. Three months, welcome back. Appreciate it. Don't worry guys, we'll reach 4,200 soon. No. For research reasons, how would you pronounce hy hyperbole? I would pronounce it hyperbole. This is the best stream you've watched in a while. Uh, I'm glad you like it. The hyperbole. No. Hyperbole. All right, all right. This is the song that I know how to play on piano from Pokemon. Right there is where I know to. <laughs> I didn't learn any much any past that. I was like, if I just get to the start, I'll be satisfied with that. But I, I haven't played it in so long, I can't imagine that I remember most of it. <laughs> this fast too? Is that full speed yet? Do 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 do. Did you learn it by ear? No. I downloaded sheet music and it took me like an hour to learn the first four notes. I'm a really slow learner when it comes to piano. I, I'm, I'm, a f I'm a fast learner when it comes to most things, but when it comes to music, it takes me an eternity, eternity to learn anything. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. Do, do, how about your hands? Um, I mean, let's check. I have a, I think I have a ruler in my desk from pencil sharpening. Where is it? Like I can pretty comfortably stretch pretty far, I think. Where's the ruler? Uh, I don't think they're like huge, but they're not small. Where'd it go? It should be with the pencils. Oh, there it is. Okay, regular ruler. All right. Um, <laughs> little over nine inches. Uh, I can go to ten if I push it. What have you walked in on? I was measuring the, the distance between my hands. Or the distance between my thumb and my pinky. That's what we all said. You will get, I mean, you want me to show you? So there's nine. And if I like flatten my hand out, like push my thumb in, it goes to 10. Didn't know what was going on. I guess if I'm just doing this and I say, yeah, nine inches, that's probably a little bit misleading. That would be a little bit misleading. I will agree. <laughs> a little suggestive. I should have thought that through. That's all you saw when you came in. <laughs> Uh. All right, what are we changing it to now? 
Do, do, do. Lonely killer. Thanks for the two months. Do, 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 do. All right. I see a lot of accumulatowns. We haven't hit that yet. Do ba da boom, ba ba da boom, ba ba da boom. Caesar, thanks for two months. Got any further than selecting the starter? Not quite. It depends on which starter we get that shiny. Just watch the measure clip back and it's hilarious. Damn it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Are you going for all shinies? Yeah, we're gonna have a living decks of shinies by the time we're done this challenge. That's the goal. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yo, Isaac, thanks for the two. Don't want to accumulate. Thank you. No problem. Yo, Pokio Farm. What program thing do you use to keep track of your sub goal? It's a custom made one that someone sent me. Um, but I think Streamlabs does a pretty good job. Dead Keys, thanks for the Prime. If you want uh, an easier one to set up. We're going to already just the Elite Four. We'll see how I feel. That clip looks so bad. Out of Can someone put the clip in chat? Can someone put the clip in chat? I want to watch it. Is it wow there, Ant? Ant measures. All right. Um... <laughs> Little over nine inches. <laughs> uh, I can go for ten if I push it. <laughs> So bad out of context. <laughs> the look down, the look up, the look down. <laughs> Ten if I push it. That is the best clip on this channel. It's pretty good, yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's put the music back on. <laughs> what was he measuring in that clip? The distance between my pinky and my thumb. <laughs> Nice cock, thanks. <laughs> oh. All right, Spartan Burrito, thanks to the prime. You're wrong, thanks to the two. Da, 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 da. Oh my, it's just Yep. <laughs> I came in here to watch Tanner, to see Tanner laughing. What did you come into? Uh, is that the best word to use? Uh... <laughs> oh my god. That's so bad at a. How did that not cross my mind at all? <laughs> <laughs> See you on the subreddit. 
See you on the subreddit. You just- did you make a mod only command? What? Oh my lord. I sent the clip to no context speedrunners. I hope you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> it's not mod only? Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm really confused. Can someone explain? Uh, 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 let me click. Could someone use the command? I, it won't let me. It won't let me scroll. Did I? Oh, it won't let me scroll. There we go. Okay. Okay. I got it. I grabbed it. I grabbed it. Uh, I can go to ten if I push it. <sighs> All right, let's change the song. Let's change the song. sound super serious I was measuring my hands I was measuring my hands <laughs> oh read the room and the room says nice cock thank you we've peaked it's the peak of the channel it's all downhill from here guys we, we don't even need to see the shiny the, sh the shiny doesn't even matter at this point <laughs> Simp, thanks to the prime. Appreciate it, my man. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah, we're at five. Every single time I reset, I give to sub. By the way, or every time I re every hundred resets, I give to sub. Not every time I reset. Okay, aquatic frog, thanks to the two. So we're up to five gift subs by the time we get the shiny. And I'll do a gift bomb once we get the shiny. Alright. Let's do an inkling. Nice. Thanks to the sub, dude. Dude, dude. Name the starter nine inches. <laughs> Can we please? <laughs> if, if you guys remember, if you guys haven't forgot, uh, by the time we get the shiny, I'll do that. New to Twitch, basically I'll gift subs to random people in chat. And it, we're currently at five people. We'll get subs, which is like five, five dollars of my own money. You guys are gonna forget. We can't forget. Do I like the newer games? They're all right, yeah? Someone make a command so you don't forget. I mean, there is a command. Captain Quinn, thanks for the bits. 1,500 bits and all you say is yep, cock. Thank you. Uh, we should have it in 20 more minutes. But also, you guys will get forgetting 20 more minutes, so... What is there to do, huh? Alright, new song, new song. What's next? New song. Yo! Next CEO of Google, thanks for the Prime. Game Corner DP. Okay.
I have such a good YouTube title for you, but it involves view count. <laughs> I give you permission to break the... Oh, no, not today. Yeah, I give you permission to send it to me off stream so I can look at it after. <laughs> Why are you voting Mirror B? It's too catchy. It'll never turn it off. If you don't play Little Root Town, I mean we will for Little Root. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Message to me? Alright, sounds good. What's the issue with mentioning view count? I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to have to think about it or get nervous about it. Worry about it being lower or higher than usual. I just want to be able to stream and enjoy it. It takes a good stream to be shiny hunting entertaining. Is this entertaining? I don't know. I don't- is this... I, I mean, you guys seem to be enjoying it, I guess. Yeah? Excellent. What is a raid? It's when we send all of our viewers over to someone else. Tanner, you're the worst? Sorry, I'm the worst. It's just the way it is. I got a good amount of sleep last night. I'm feeling good. Feeling energetic today. I can't stop vibing. Yo, someone didn't play an ad, LMAO. I got you. I'll play an ad. All right, so here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. We're going to get a shiny in the next 50 seconds so they miss it. All the non-subs miss it. They'll regret that, huh? They'll regret that. So the secret is that we're going to get a shiny. Got a full focus here. Gamer lean. 37 seconds. Scarma, thanks for the prime. 23 seconds. Come on. Come on. Last chance. Last chance. Here we go. Gotta be a shiny. I want them to miss it. We got one more. Eight seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait. We got it! Ooh, that's it! Finally! Oh, it's 548! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god! It's incredible! Oh, that took not long at all! Whew. Oh my god! Damn! Wow! <laughs> what a prank! What a- we pranked all the people that were watching the ad. <laughs> you- we got you good! We got you so good! <laughs> there was no shiny! What, you think we got a shiny that fast? Come on! <laughs> Adjust your hopes a little bit! Oh, the only sub zero thanks to tier one. Thought you actually got one. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, 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 none of that. I tricked you, honestly. Nice. That would have been sick. No, it would have been. Thought I missed it because of a meeting. Nah, you're all good. <laughs> Hey.
XD or Coliseum Mirror B? It's pretty even. We'll just do both. Yo, thanks to the subs, by the way. Oh my god. The only sub zero, uh, Akantaro, uh, Pack of Soul. YNVG Herman, thanks for the subs. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Anacolon, you guys. If you restart by mistake and get a shiny, will you continue resetting? Yes. If I reset by mistake on a shiny, I will gift 100 subs and we will keep searching. Do, 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 do. I can't sub. I don't use Amazon. This is Twitch. No, it's not shiny. Okay. Do, 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 You got a shiny sloses and 30 eggs? Well, you probably have the shiny charm and Masada method, right? Why are words crazy and insane blocked by it? I don't know. I really don't know. Yo, Mo the Potato, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the ant colony, man. Wait, was that? Chikorita? No, okay. Do, do, do. We're almost, oh, we passed 569. We're almost at 690. The next beautiful meme number. Can't redeem the whistle reward? Someone already did. What happens to get to 666? I don't know. Oh so, yeah, 666 is the next mean number, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna do the other one now. This is the XD one. I think Coliseum's better. Oh, it's hard to say. But I think Coliseum's a little better. What do you guys think? Like, I don't like this part. Coliseum's got that spice, yeah. Like this is chill, yeah? Do you have a full team that you want? Yep. I want shinies. Alright, what's the next song? Actually, I'm picking it. Glitch City, by the way. Just for anyone, if they're curious, this is Glitch City. I think I met her in person, actually, when I went to TwitchCon. I went, I went to like the, the, the Poke. I, I don't know how I ended up there, but I ended up at like the, the Poke Tuber or Poke Streamer party when I was at TwitchCon, and I think I met her briefly. I'm fairly sure I have. There's like a lot of people there, actually. There's a lot of people that play Pokemon. It's almost like it's a popular game. We may have seen each other, but I didn't know you at the time. Glad Kelly, probably. I don't doubt it. I think it was uh, it Munching Orange. I think he invited me. He was like, hey, come along. So I was like, okay. 
do do. You were there, it was insane? Yeah. A lot of people showed up. Sugar Solution, thank you for the two gifted subs. I appreciate it. Welcome to the air call on you too. Valor Pickles, thanks for the two months. Appreciate that a heck of a lot. Whistle Lugia him. We'll see. 600, that's six gift subs now. Pokemon got popular? Pokemon's always been popular. What are you talking about? It's one of the most... I think one of the highest grossing franchises of all time. Right? Multimedia fran franchise, is that the word? Multimedia franchise of all time. Right? It's the number one highest franchise of all time. Yeah. It's literally the biggest. It's, it's big. Highest grossing franchise. Yeah. That's crazy. The Pokemania of the 90s. If we're lucky, it'll happen at 900. If we're lucky, it'll happen right on this reset. Right here, right now. Ah, we're not lucky. Damn! WTF, have you not gotten a starter yet? It's a 1 in 8,000 chance. Come on! <laughs> Alright, new song, new song, let's see. Actually, no, we'll finish this off. It's only been two minutes. Three and eight thousand? Yeah, I, I do get three rolls of it each time. Three rolls of one in eight thousand chance. I, I feel like it's different, right? Isn't three rolls of an eight in one thousand... Isn't three rolls in an... Like, a 1 in 8,000 chance different from, like, one roll in a, in, like, a 2,700 chance? It's different. Isn't the 1 in 8,000 accounting for you already get three rolls? No. A single Pokemon is a 1 in 8,000. It's just barely different. Yeah. Bully Hunter, thanks to Tier 1. Appreciate it. Statistically, it is the same. It's not because they are independent. Okay. They're independent events probably. Well, are they independent events though? No context speedrun was posted the clip. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. You have the account for the possibility of getting multiple shinies. Hmm. Can you put on beads theme next? We're getting to the end here. Once the music stops playing, you guys can tell me. And I'll just pick one. Snatch one from chat. What's your ideal starter? I like Totodile, he's cool. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Ace Pilot, just to offset the gifted subs. Thanks for the 10 bucks, and TJD, thanks for the 100 bits. Falcon has some badass Pokemon covers. Try them out one day. Wait, oh, wait. That's a normal Cyndaquil, right? <laughs> I've looked at so many, I can't remember. Yeah, it's orange, okay. All right, all right, uh... Sword and Shield Battle Tower, all right.
It's a bit quiet. Should be better. Here we go. Chikorita has been giving you anxiety. Why? Is the Chinese for Chikorita not that much different? Okay. Wonder if there's a story I could tell you guys. What's a good story? Hmm, I feel like we, we were going doing well on stories before. Something we could talk about. What is it? Hmm. Hmm. Chicken parm, I don't know what that means. You can do what I can. The last P.O. Box delivery, I told that already. Tell us about the shrimp incident. There's never a shrimp incident. Although I do have one of my most embarrassing stories. I think it was around, uh, it was a family gathering. I think it was like um, Thanksgiving or Christmas where we had a bunch of family, right? We had a bunch of family, and uh, they were all over at, um, at my aunt's house. Not small aunt, different aunt. Um, and we were eating supper. And I was at the head of the table just because that's how it was. And we had a relatively large table. Like, we, we don't have a small family. Doc, thanks for the two months. Um, so it was probably like uh, 10 people on each side of the table and then one at the head. So probably like 22 people there total. And... I was eating some corn. There's corn on the cob, just eating through. And I have a problem, not with corn, but with sneezing. That if I ever have a sneeze, I can't stop it. And it comes very quickly. It's like a surprise. And so what had happened is I had just taken a huge... You have a problem with corn, that's fair. I had just taken, like, a huge bite of corn. Like, I was like, go, 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 go. Like a full revolution, a mouth full of corn. I, I feel... I feel it happen. I'm holding corn. I can't cover my mouth. So I, I feel it coming, and I have, like, a second. I, like, turn the corn down, cover my mouth, and, like, sneeze into it. And the reason, and my, my fingers weren't closed all the ways, and they acted as like a, a thing to spread the corn out. And the, ta and the table is just covered in food, right? You just grab from the center of the table. And it went everywhere. Like, there was corn in people's drinks. There was corn on people's food. There was corn on the food that people hadn't even taken yet. And everyone just looked at me like, what the hell? And it was just like... I couldn't do anything to stop it. It came out of nowhere. I was holding it and like, I, it, I, it, it was like seconds. I was like, what is the best thing I can do right now? And my brain was like, cover your mouth because you're obviously gonna spit it out. It's better to cover it up than spit it out. And so instead of turning my head, I figure covering my mouth would do the trick. And it acted as a spread shot instead. I cringe thanks to the prime. So that's probably one of my most embarrassing moments. And it wasn't like like it just never like my brain didn't act fast enough. What did my mom say? I need to see what my mom said. I typed slash once and it did five slashes. E you your small aunt mom. Let's see what did my mom say? My mom said we were inst- we were just... Yeah, we were instantly done eating for real. It was disgusting. Turn your head. I'm sorry, mom. I just didn't... 
when you only have like half a seconds to think about it, it's like either I sneeze on the floor. In my head, I was like, I can sneeze on the floor right now and just spew corn all over the floor and get really embarrassed. Or I could cover my mouth and get none of it on the floor, get it in my hand, and no one is and no one is uh, no one knows. What I failed to consider was that my hand might not catch everything, and it didn't. Six 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 hype. Okay, okay. It's always a small, ch small chances, yep. Mom out here with the floor strats, yeah. Road to 690. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 Small ant says, but your hand is nine inches, ten if you push it. Yeah, exactly my thoughts. I was like, my hand is nine inches. I should be able to completely cover my mouth and envelop my whole face with my hand. It shouldn't be an issue. I should be able to catch it all. Thanks for bringing it a full circle, small ant. Appreciate that. <laughs> Almost there. Well, the odds getting a shiny starter, hundred percent. If we sit here for long enough. Yo, Maverick Mel, thanks for the eight months. Doo -doo -doo. Please just increase the chances I'm getting bored, Dragon Hero. If you're getting bored, you can leave. There's nothing keeping you here. Just leave if you're getting bored. That's up to you. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Yo, Small Re, thanks for the ten months. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You want to be here when the shiny comes? That's fair. I do too. He's being held hostage. I'm being held hostage by my toy gun. Yep. Next number is 777. That's the jackpot. We've got this. Mother said something? I don't know. Saber, thanks for the prime. Yo, 690. This is the attempt then. This one right here. Here we go. Almost. It was close. Almost had it. Damn. Okay, just a question for you guys. This does work, right? For the starters? Like, you can save right in front of the starters and soft reset in front of them. Like, they're generated when you press this, or are they generated before you enter the building? Just a random question. Cosmic File, thanks for the 100 bits. Yes, this works? Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't frame skipping make it not work? What do you mean? I don't know. Yeah, it works? All right. You asked now? I just, I'm just checking. You're lucky it does work? I don't know. Yeah, you spent three hours on it once. Good to know. If it doesn't work, there goes two hours. Hey, it wasn't two hours wasted. It was two hours we spent together having a good time. 
takes thousands of resets? No, it doesn't. It doesn't take thousands of resets. It takes a few. Do, 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 do. Good news is I was able to skin my Furby. <laughs> Ace Pilot, thanks for the gifted sub to Dragon Hero. Okay. Thought we got it. You have a 22 chance to get it by 700 resets? Great! Time is actually going by so fast today. I don't know why. Is it the raw shiny chance? It's 8192. 1 in 8192 of the odds. Yo, Ad Witty, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the egg colony. Let's see, what, what other stories could I tell that I can think of? I know there's a bunch that I haven't told you guys, but I can't think of them. They gotta bubble up into my brain. Holy crap! Felix the mustache. Felix, thank you for the 100 gift subs, dude. That's insanity. Welcome to the air colony, you. You 100 people! Thank you, Felix. That's an insane amount of subs. Thank you. Did I miss- did I miss a Pokemon or something? Is that what this is? 100, 100 subs if I miss a- miss a Pokemon? Miss a shiny? <laughs> Thank you, Felix. That's crazy. That's actually ridiculous. Wow. Thank you, Felix. That generosity, I know. Ant, you're gay for not answering my question. Well... It's a shame. Actually, is it a shame? Doesn't sound so bad. Is that a shiny Totodile? I don't think so. I need to be a little bit more careful. No. People would have clipped it and been freaking out. Can ants be gay? The small ant is gay? No. Would you try me to share? No, I can't. Do -do -do. Don't worry, guys. I have good luck. Da -da -da -da. Shiny Toad is the most noticeable? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. I'm good. Didn't miss anything. Excellent. Ah. Dude. All right. New song. New song. We've been playing this one for 10 minutes. What's next? A lot of people saying beads theme. Let's go.
Billy can read so much chat. Chat is flying today. That's true. It is. It do be moving. For some, he saw Bede's name. He just blanked out. Con yeah, I don't know if it's bed day, bidet. There's no way it's bidet. Bead, just bed. Betty. Yeah, it's definitely bidet. Oh man, okay. I remember I was playing. I remember I was playing Pokemon. I wasn't playing Pokemon, no. It was something like. I can't remember who, but I was playing a game like, like Pictionary, or a, a game that you you get like a card and there's a word on it and you either have to like act it out or draw it out. I can't remember what it was. I think you have to act it out. And I remember them charades. Yeah, it was like charades or something. It was charades. It wasn't gestures. It was it was someone else. And the, the, the people that I was playing with, they, they were regular people, but one of the people was... Uh, what's, I, what's the most polite word? They were a native English speaker. But they didn't know a lot of English. And I remember, I don't know why, but I had to, I, someone had told them the word that they had to act out. Like they whispered it in their ear. No, they, no, no, what am I saying? I'm sorry the story is a bit broken up a little bit. They, they, they had read the card, and they started acting it out. And they were pointing at their... They were pointing at their butt. They're like... They're like pointing at it, and we were like... Butt? Butt? Ass? Like, we were all thinking of, like, what could it be? What could, the, what could it be? And... Someone said, Booty. Like that. They pronounced it like that. They said booty. And they were like, there you go, that's it. That's the word. And they looked at it, and we looked at the card afterwards, and the card said bidet. Like B-I-D-E-T. And we're like, what? Yeah, you guys said booty. It's like, that's not, that's not what this is. This is the thing that washes your junk after you go to the bathroom. Like, what? No, that's how you spell booty. Like, they... Legitimately, they... They thought that's how you spelt that word. B-I-D-E-T. Is how they thought you spelled booty. The hint was still good is the funniest part. We might have guessed bidet if they had just kept pointing and... And not done anything. <laughs> Like, we were all just so confused, like, how could you mix that up? <laughs> how could you mix that up? Do you know any French? No, let's just say no. Oh, I know salad. I know my mom knows salad as well. Okay, next theme. Salad? Yeah, that's- it's just- salad is just salad. <laughs> uh, route 216, okay. Hmm. 
Is this the one? I'm off beat. The, I think the audio is slightly off. Like, my camera is very slightly delayed. We need to play Little Root Town theme. Little Root's here. Bad touch. Thanks for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Yo, we're at 777. It would have been so sick to get at that the drop for that. You know Japanese? Uh, let's say no. But I was about to say hi, but I don't. I really don't. Just tune in. I'm at 777. Yes, I am. Doo -doo -doo. Humming like a maniac. Your mom is staring. Hey. It's a good song. What are the odds? 100%. Hondo, baby. What's the next meme number? I don't know. 888, maybe? Seven eight nine. We just gotta have something to look forward to, you know? <clears throat> Will we have to grind for another shiny after the starter? Depends on the starter we got. Depends on which starter is shiny. Time will tell. Good lord, the grind on this? Yeah, the juicy grind. I don't know why I reset on that one. We could have had shiny Pokemon and I just reset before seeing the rest of them. Well, we know it wasn't a shiny Chikorita. OMG, what F? There's no way to know. The odds are still the same on the second attempt. Are you streaming until you get the shiny starter today? If... I don't know. I, I said I'm going to... We'll see. We'll see. If I get tired or... Like, if we get it, like, now, we'll play the game. What's the best method in Heart Gold, Soul, Silver? I don't know. Do they have, like... Do they have, like, chain fishing in this yet? Or is that, like, Gen 6? Q-Charm glitch is not allowed, no. I don't even know what that means, but we're not allowing it. We're at the 8 gift subs now! It's Gen 6? Ah. Alright. You can solo easily with the starter. Here's the thing. You have to surf to kill the red Gyarados. That's the only problem. I could solo with the starter. But if we can't get to the Gyarados, we cannot progress. You know of Absol, Blo Absol Blogs? Isn't he like the 100, level 100 guy? Is catching the shiny Gyarados allowed? Let's think about it. In a challenge that is titled, Only Shiny Pokemon Allowed. Can I use a shiny Gyarados? Marnie Steam next? Alright, mods are requesting Marnie Steam, I'll do it. This is the most ridiculous run you've ever seen? It's good. It's not that crazy. It's just a regular Pokemon run, except it just takes longer. It just takes longer.
Thanks, 100 bits. Every what? Reset the game every 200 and f I can't read it. It's not letting me read chat. I can't actually pause chat. It's weird. Reset the game every 150 to 200 attempts. Why? What's the point? Refresh so I can pause chat. Is that all I need to do? Do I have more stories to tell? I do, yes. There we go. Oh, oh, there you go. Now it lets me pause. Okay, thank you. I had no idea how to fix that. No shiny yet. By chance of acid, speedy, dude. Are you never running the same RNG number? I believe no. How, why would you run the same RNG number? Why would it be a, the, the, the same RNG number if you reset the game? Why, why, how do people do it normal later, normally? I'm fairly sure the C changes because it calculates it based on the time. Right? Want to tell Vancouver stories that Ant doesn't remember? Oh, hey, do it, Abby. Do it. Like, people shining out the starters. They don't have to restart the games. How? I don't know. Thanks for the 500 bits. What are your chances of getting a shiny starter? 100%. Modcast, that's how- I can't do a modcast. Nah, they use multiple devices at once. Pretty much. Alright, Dolphin Sounds out of stock. You can only use them once a stream. Why not? I don't want to. I've, I've told you guys, why have I not? Yo, Adam Burrows, thanks for the bits. Alright. Mod cat when? In the mod mansion, we'll do a mod cat. We'll get a mod cat in mod mansion. Okay. What? Nope. What could we talk about then? What can we talk about? Let's think about it. Garf? Let's see. All oh, right, I remember, yeah. We went to like a barcade, so I, for, for context, I went and hung out with some of the mods in um, in February before the whole COVID stuff in Vancouver. We met up and was hanging out. Uh, it was Abby, Brynn, and I. Brynn is no longer a mod, but we were hanging out and we went to a barcade. And apparently, the most focused I have ever been, I sh they have ever seen me, is when I was trying to do sports. There was a, a basketball minigame thing. And I, it was incredibly focused. The, the only game that I remember playing is I remember Abby being incredibly adamant. I remember Abby being so incredibly adamant that she was good at foosball. She was like, I am going to destroy you, you small little bug. I will completely stomp you with my power. I was like, okay, let's go over there and play that then. And we played foosball. I was like, you can put the ball in, you can start. Oh, you start it up. And, um... Puts the ball into the field. Into play. And, uh... Within about five seconds, I have a point. And You know how I said I let her grab the ball and put it back into play? Well, when someone scores on you, you get to put the goal back. You get to put the ball back into play, right? 
long story short, I never touched the ball that entire game. With my hands, at least. Touched it with my foosball characters. It was it was a 10-0 sweep. I, she didn't get a single goal. It wasn't even close. <laughs> That's not true. Uh-huh. You got at least one. I remember you you got destroyed. I don't know about that one. <laughs> but speaking of foosball, the reason why I'm so good at foosball is because I grew up playing foosball. At least I didn't break my ankle on a tree branch. Okay. I didn't break my ankle. Before that, so the entire trip... The first day, I was very energetic, and we ended up- <laughs> Onion looking ass. <laughs> I- we ended up, um... We, we ended up, like, walking down the, the sea wall, I think it's called, and, like, to the aquarium. We walked through, like, a forest. And I, round, I ended up jumping off a stump. The thing is, the stump was rotten. And when I go, went to go jump off it, it collapsed under me, and I twisted my ankle, like, 45 minutes into the trip. And so for the whole rest of the trip, my ankle was just like swollen and I was limping. Like, it was bad. Like, I was in extreme pain the entire time. My ankle was like, it was like double the width it should have been. It was rough. So the whole trip, I we walked literally 20 miles that weekend. I think like Abby had it on her phone or something that we walked literally 20 miles and my ankle was double the size it normally is. Like, it was rough. But I was like, I, I'm gonna make the most of it, and I just kept walking. <laughs> Still crushed her in foosball. That's rough? Ah, it's okay. But yeah, speaking of foosball... Growing up, I, I went to daycare up until I was in, like, grade four, right? After school, I'd go into daycare, and it'd be like three hours where you just hang out and, you know, it's daycare. And daycare had, it had an air hockey table, it had a foosball table, um, and occasionally, the daycare, we would hold little tournaments where, uh, like once or twice or three times a week, we'd do a match for, um, for tournament with, uh, with a, a random game. And they, you'd win, like, a random prize. And... There was a, a foosball tournament, which, what is foosball? It's like table soccer. It's the best way to put it. It's like table soccer. That, I mean, that's what it is. Is it not table soccer? Is it foosball or something? Anyways. Is foosball footballing? I don't know. Foosball, it's German for football. Okay. But yeah, I ended up, uh, I joined the foosball tournament that we were, that they were holding, except it was a, it was a doubles tournament. And I was like, I bet I could do it by myself. I bet I could just win by myself. So I entered the doubles tournament solo. And I ended up sweeping through the entire bracket. And I, I remember the finals. I remember playing against Evan. And I remember playing against... Um, I can't remember her name. She moved. But she was older than me. And by the way, Evan wasn't a, the slouch himself. Evan went on to be, I think, I think he's one of the best snowboarders in the entire world. Like, I'm pretty sure he won like a gold medal at Worlds or something. Like, I remember stomping him at foosball. Sparkles Rob, thanks for the prime. Okay, sure, he did. 888, baby. Yeah, so you, you know he's generally good. 
Evan Strong, no. I don't, uh, I would be, I would know his name. I can't remember what it, but it's, it's like a, a French name or something. Seems to be going well, yes. But yeah, th that at daycare, I was like, that daycare was when I peaked. I've said this, yeah, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, you guys got it. That, that's who I beat in foosball. <laughs> But yeah, I, I was like real good. I, I dominated all of those tournaments in daycare. Like if they held a tournament and I entered, everyone that entered the tournament was just like, ugh, come on. Because I would win. I remember I entered the air hockey tournament. I won that easy. I remember beating, I think Evan's sister was the one that in the finals. I beat her. I remember, um... I remember they had a beat em on tournament where it's the little little guys that shot marbles and if you if yours got hit with your own mar if you got, yours got hit with a marble, it would like make you lose, right? So, um... I remember doing that. I didn't even have a beat em on. I borrowed one from the daycare. And for the, um... For the end of the, uh... For, for, for the finals, the person that I was going up against, I think his name was, like, Jared. And, um... And he was the, the, the try-hard kid that just went all out. Like, whenever he was into something, his parents were like, we'll give you anything you need to, to make you happy. And so he had, like, the beat em on with the fancy sides, the hopper on top filled with marbles, with, like, the optimal flow. Like, it, it, it was a serious setup, and I had, like, a crappy one. I had to, like, manually feed in marbles that I just grabbed from off the table. And I remember doing the finals with him. I remember it took a really long time. But I, I did end up hitting his. And... He lost and he was so confident he was gonna win. He was like, I have better equipment. There's no way. There's no way that I don't win this. And I remember I hit the hit the target on his little character. I locked it out. And he started crying. And I was like, what are you doing crying? And he was like, the marble hit my finger. Ah! He realized he had lost and he tried to distract people by crying so people didn't notice that he lost he would rather cry than lose a beat -em on match like what's up with that also same thing with with Beyblades I don't know where it came from I it just showed up in my like backpack one day I literally have no idea where it came from but you guys know Beyblades right you know let her rip or whatever He had the most, like, the fanciest Beyblades, the fanciest rip cords and everything. Like, all of it. He was decked out. And I remember I had a crappy, like, like, he had, like, the grip and then the thing that goes into it, custom made, like, tells you the speed that you ripped it at. Like, it was, it was insane. Like, his Beyblade had actual blades. It would have hurt you. And I remember I had like a small little hand, like a dinky little, little thing and a, a crappy ripcord. The thing is, the thing that I ended up finding in like, I don't know. I... No, I remember where I found it. We were, and we were, um, I had a lot of like clubs that I went to. Like a, like a, like a book club or like, um, like swimming lessons, stuff like that, karate. I did a lot of that when I was younger and I was walking to one of those. And I, in the dirt, I remember finding the metal bottom of a Beyblade. A Beyblade that was pure metal. I found the bottom of it. And it was just so heavy that it just didn't stop spinning. It was a steel... The thing is, it was broken, so I couldn't put anything in it. Like, I couldn't put the core of the Beyblade in. I couldn't put any blades on it. It was just the metal bottom of a Beyblade. And I remember just, like, I managed to figure out a way to attach my little, like, rip cord thing to it and I would just launch it in there and it would not stop spinning 
Like, it would decimate those dinky little pa plastic Beyblades, no matter how fancy or sharp they were. And I remember being him being like, it's no fair, it's no fair, it's not a real Beyblade. And then on the bottom, I'd show him that, like, the little, the brand or the logo of Beyblade. I was like, it's officially made by them. I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, okay. But I remember him always complaining that I had a metal Beyblade and that it wasn't even a full Beyblade. He's like, you don't even have a full Beyblade. And I'm like, I'm beating you anyways. I don't even have a full Beyblade and I'm still better than you. And he was so angry at it. <laughs> but that was just his personality. If you ever beat him, he just complained. <laughs> Why didn't he just get it himself? It was really hard to find. Like we were in a really small town, so you could only get so much. What color was the metal? It was like a gray metal. It was just like, it looked like metal. Your metal Beyblade would break the plastic arenas? Yeah, I believe it. Yo, we're almost at a thousand. You sound really mean. I'm gonna be honest. I probably was really mean. Up until like... I would say grade eight. Like I, I wasn't, I, I was probably pretty mean up until grade eight. <laughs> change the music, but it's so good. But I'll change it. Cause grade eight was when I actually made some like actual friends. Okay, okay, okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yo! Wet Bones himself, thanks for the five months. Sparkles Rob, thanks for the prime. I appreciate the subs, you guys. Little Root Town. No, 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 no. Didn't the mod say it has to be Marnie's theme? The mod said it had to be Marnie's theme. B music, thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the ant colony. Thanks for the subs. Let's go. No, I don't want Chikorita. I'm still in the intro noob, yep. Whoa, no, not yet. That's a, that's a normal Chikorita, right? Yeah, that's gotta be. Okay. At the Lion Beyblade and it was trash? Maybe mine wasn't a Lion Beyblade then. Maybe it was better than that. The Wiggles the Tough. Thanks to the Prime. Appreciate it. You're so picky on finding a starter. Just pick one already. Come on. How do you tell if it's shiny? It's a different color. You're so damn patient. I am. It's a perfect challenge for me. Will you take any shiny, even a Chikorita? Yeah. I'll just take any shiny, I think. How do you know if it's shiny? The great thing about this game is that they show you if they're shiny before. You pick them. Yo, we're three hours in. Let's go, big pogs. Yo, Efin Nashki. Thanks to the tier one. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. FRDKK, thanks for the four months, and Cortland, thanks for the prime. So many people seven right now. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Daniel, thanks for the prime. This is what you've been doing the whole time? I mean, I've been talking a little bit. I've been listening to some different music. It's all been good. We're almost at 1K. Feeling good. All right. And you don't see if it's a shiny in that sprite. Now this is where you remember that I have 5,000 hours in Pokemon. In Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it does. And specifically Heart Gold, Soul Silver. It does. If my mods and my Beyblades are both drowning, and I can only save one, you can catch me letting it rip at my mod's funeral. 
Because it's Beyblade or Catch a Fade, homie. <laughs> the mods coordinated that, I guess. <laughs> that, that took a while to coordinate. The Beyblade story is over. You missed your shot. No, we didn't. It's just all chance. Okay. We might have coordinated that. Maybe. Maybe. What are the odds of that? You guys just all are of one mind. You share the brain cell. The mod brain cell. A mod takeover, yeah. And now chat is on fire. Now now it's just like kinda every everyone is is doing it now. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> the mod cell, exactly. Chat is it chat has turned to chaos. What have you done, mods? <laughs> you were supposed to fight the spam! Not become it! <laughs> we killed chat, you did! Kappa check? Uh, oh, we're doing a kappa check, okay. Kappa check. Oh, we're checking cap. Does it- uh, is everyone's kappa working? Is it- is it working? I know some people had a broken kappa earlier. We just need to- Yo, thanks for the sub, Raisin, and Sufficient. Thanks for gifting a sub. Okay, it, it looks like a lot of- It looks like a lot of- A lot of people's kappas are working. That's good. I'm really glad that the kappas are all working. Alright. This is- okay, we're good. Awesome. Thank you. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> what does the stream turn into? Uh, we're, we're getting it back on the rails, don't worry. All we need to do is, um, I'll think of another uh, daycare story. I remember it, I've told this story before, but let's pick a new music. What, actually, what new song? What song would you guys like? Ooh, Little Root Town, all right. <sighs> it's so good. Something else, I've told this on stream before, but something else that I used to do with daycare specifically is I remember every single morning I would always want to bring something to daycare that I could do so anything and I remember bringing one day I like just I went into my toy box and I put my hand in I just grabbed something and I was like all right put it in my backpack didn't even look what it was did not even look what it was that's really loud I didn't look what it was, didn't know what it was, so I, I got to daycare, opened up my backpack, and I found a handgun. No, I, um, I found a measuring tape in my backpack. I had grabbed a measuring tape from my toolbox. I was like, well, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with a measuring tape? And so I ended up, uh... I measured my hand, turns out it was, no, uh, what I ended up doing was, um, I started doing tricks with the measuring tape. Like I would, I'd throw the measuring tape out, I'd like catch something with the hook, like pull it back towards me. I was doing like measuring tape tricks and it was like everyone in the daycare was talking about it. Like, yo, you see, you see Tanner's measuring tape? And they'd be like, no. I'd be like, Psh -psh -psh. take their glasses or something. Like I could go pro with measuring tape tricks. I was like grabbing like stuff off of shelves. It was sick. Anyways, th there's no no moral of the story. I just just uh I brought a measuring tape to daycare once. <laughs> oh 
<clears throat> I feel like I have a lot of daycare stories that I can't, like, remember. Let's see if I can think of one. I remember one from daycare. Man, it was good. I remember, you know those, like, scholastic... Do you guys have those scholastic things? Where it's like, uh, you can order books or random toys? From, like, Scholastic? Did you guys have that? Yeah? Okay, every, like, like once or twice a year, you'd get, like, a little booklet that you could buy and, like, bring home and, and order, like, toys, and they'd come in, like, a book fair, yeah. And they'd come in, like, a month later or something, or two months later. I remember I ordered a, uh, a spy kit from one of those. And it, and literally all it was was just, like, a crappy pair of glasses and, um, and a little box that had a microphone. And the microphone sucked, like you couldn't hear anything. Like, you, if you just didn't use it, you could hear better. And I remember, um, faking that I was like, I could hear so much with this, because I didn't... It sucked, and I was so... In my head, I was so disappointed that it just did not... It was not good. Oh, the counter reads 100, let me fix that. I was so disappointed that it didn't work. But I was like, oh, I, I, I totally works. So what am I doing? It totally does. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, whoops. Do, do, do. So I tried to convince people that it worked, and I could hear from really, really far away. So what I did was I was like. People were like, there, there were two girls, one of which that I had a crush on at the time, and they were they were talking. They had made like a little fort across the. Uh, we're actually we. Uh, they made a fort outside. We were playing outside, and um, and two girls were talking, and I walked by, and I was like, I can hear you, you know. They're like, No, you can't. I was like, Yeah. With this, with this spy kit tool, I can hear you. I can hear you from across the parking lot over there. And they're like, really? No, you can't. Like, go, go across the parking lot. And I was like, okay. And I hold it up. They're like, okay, we're going to whisper something. They're like, all right. And so they go back into their fort. And I, I, I kind of... I don't hear anything because obviously it's a crappy mic. There's no way I hear something from 30 feet away inside of a, a small fort that they've made. And they go out and say, like, what do we say? And I'm like, I didn't hear shit. Like, I heard nothing. I have no idea what they said. Simp, simp. And so I'm just like, hello. You said hello. And I see them just both look at each other and there's just... And they're convinced that I've heard everything they've said the entire day. And I don't know what they said, but it must have been some like really messed up stuff. Because they were like, like freaked out. They were like, please, please don't tell anyone. Please. I was like, secrets are safe with me. I had no idea what the hell they were saying, but they were terrified of me for like, for the for the next like a month they did not forget that and they were so nice to me because in their head if they did anything wrong i could just tell everyone their secrets <laughs> but they were terrified of me eventually they forgot and i forgot too but for a time oh it was great <laughs> but yeah I, I i knew literally nothing That's messed up. Yeah, I wonder what they said. I really wonder what they said. <laughs> it wasn't blackmail. They just assumed that. I never even implied that, like, anything was going to go wrong. Why would have I implied anything was going to go wrong? Because I didn't hear anything. I was just bluffing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Someone asked if it's this. Uh, yeah, it is. We're approaching three hours. We're getting close. Do, 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 do. You do this for almost three hours? Yeah. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, man. I unglued. Thanks for the 14 months. Oh, I remember in grade one, something happened. Grade one. There was a, um... Did you guys ever have a kid in your class that was like, he would just, like... They were, like, really whiny, and they cried a lot. Like, over nothing. Like, they're, they're, they'd be trying to use their pencil, and it, the, the lead would break, and you'd just be like, My lead broke, and just start crying. Like, stuff like that. Like, I mean, that was me for a few years, but I remember in grade one, I wasn't like that yet. I wasn't like that. I hadn't been, um, I hadn't been emotionally broken by my grade four teacher yet. So, in grade one, there was a kid, I can't remember what, I think his name was Matthew. His name was Matthew, right. Yeah, I was, I was actively bullied and my fourth grade teacher encouraged people to bully me. But that, that's, a, that's another story. Um... I remember we would all do like, like crisscross applesauce. I couldn't cross my legs because I'm incredibly inflexible and I can't even do that. Um, but Matthew, everyone kind of just disliked him because he was always super loud. And it was just like, all he did was cry. Like, you couldn't have a conversation with him. He was, he was, he was that bad. And as a grade one, you're like, why don't you just not? You know, you're, you're not like, I feel like as a grade one, a lot of people just didn't understand other people very well. So you're very blunt. At least like most people were in my, in my grade. And uh, I remember we all got down crisscross applesauce. He was last and you're like, and Everyone was like, Matthew, come sit down. He's like, okay. And I remember him sitting down. And when he sat down, you could just hear like a, a rip. Like it, everyone was quiet waiting for him. He sits down and you just hear a rip. And everyone's like, everyone kind of flinches a little bit and like, what, what happened? What happened? And what had happened was he got up, he turned around to look at what happened and his pants, right at the butt crack, ripped all the way down. His pants basically tore completely in half. You could see his underwear. And the, just the entire class started laughing, because, like, why wouldn't you? Someone just tore their entire pants in half. So we all were laughing, and he just, like, screamed. Like, literally screamed out of the classroom and ran home. He literally ran all the way home. It was like a, a like a 10 minute jog, which is like across town with how big it is. He literally ran across town home and didn't come back. Like, I don't think he was there the next day anyways. Also, Matthew, welcome to the ant colony. Like he must have been scarred for life. That must have been so traumatizing. He ran home, it was grade one and he ran home. That sounds horrible. Oh, I can't imagine. Actually, never mind. I can imagine. I can imagine because something worse happened to me. Um, I've told it before. I've told it multiple times. But uh, I think it might have been like third grade for me. <clears throat> Candy on it. Thanks for the prime. Yeah, mama. I'm getting to that, mom. I'm getting to that. Grade three. For whatever reason, when I was younger, I despised jeans. Well, actually, I know why. It's because I refused to wear underwear when I was younger, and I, I zipped up my, uh, I zipped up my stuff in it once, and I refused to wear jeans from that point on. I, I learned my lesson, but I still didn't like jeans. I was wearing underwear. Don't worry. I went commando when I was in like grade one. Grade two-ish, I think. But I, I do now, don't worry. I got it, I learned. Um, but yeah, I, I refuse to wear them, but that later on. I, moral of the story, I hated jeans. I refused to wear jeans, I just did not wear them. And so, I had exclusively track pants and sweatpants that I would wear. That's it. I would not wear jeans. 
And so I had wore uh, track pants to school this one day, and we were like, we were playing outside, and we had like a, we were playing outside. And I remember that I had, um, we had found a rope, and we were playing a game, and it, it ended up like, uh, the rope was tied around, I, I think, like a loop in my track pants. And it was, it was like tied to a pole and you could just like, I could move around and run around, but I, um, but it was just rope tied to my, my stuff. And I, I always had these buttons all, all along the side of the pants. I thought they were just like visual. I didn't think they did anything, but there was buttons down the whole side of the pants. And I remember we were playing a game and running around and, um, And they ended up like running really far away to like hide from me or something or to go get someone else And I was all alone and I, I was like I bet I can escape if I could I bet I could break the rope So I go and I run At full speed like it's either the rope is breaking or I am Because I was sure this would break the rope, but I, I didn't realize That the buttons on the side of the pants actually had a function They were tearaway pants that you use for like track and so I ran full speed and my pants went flying off and in, an, in a moment of just sheer panic, uh, like uh, one moment I'm wearing pants, the next moment I'm in my underwear and I have no idea what happened. I remember just looking down, realizing that my pants are just completely gone and I sprinted into the, I sprinted into the daycare, into the bathroom and just sat there. I was probably sitting there for like an hour and I remember um, someone going to the, the bathroom door inside the daycare and they're like, where are you? Everyone's looking for you. Where were you? It's like, I, I've been in the bathroom. They're like, what happened? It's like, I don't have any pants. I'm like what? Yeah, my, yeah, I don't have any pants. They're like, huh? They, they, they fell off. Like, I'll go look for them. So like my friend goes and finds the pants, brings them back to me and just leaves me in the bathroom. And then I go walking out. I go walking out and I've been missing for like an hour at this point. And like, the, oh damn it, I missed a reset there, whatever. I, um, I go walking outside with my pants back on. I fix them up and the, the supervisor, She's like panicked like she has literally everyone looking for me like all of the kids are running around looking under like garbage cans and stuff looking in stuff She's like, where were you? What happened? Where did you go? Because she's she's a day she works for the daycare and a kid has been missing for an hour Right here, let's get to the next song. Uh, We'll just do this one And she's like I lost my pants and I had to, I was hiding in the bathroom. I was hiding in the bathroom. And she's like, why didn't you tell me where you went? And she was like angry. She was furious. And I was like, I didn't have pants. And she was like, you could have at least told me when you were going. And the thing, she's surrounded by kids the whole time because she's supervising. And I'm like, I'm not even anxious. I don't understand why she's angry because I'm like, you expect me to walk up to you, not wearing pants, surrounded by everyone, and tell you that I'm going to the bathroom because I don't want to have anyone see me without pants on? And she's like, you could have at least told me. But... Huh? I have no pants. God. What else? Oh, speaking of, I told you I went to like, I, I went to private school up until grade three. It was a very small school. I can tell you why I went to private school. Or no, I think it wasn't even, was it a private school or was it like a, just a, a smaller school? I can't remember, mom. Was it a private school? Or was it just like a smaller school? I guess my mom can clarify before I start the story. I think my mom's here. Keep checking in to see if I got it yet. I don't got it yet. 
Anyways, it was a small school. I, I went to, uh... It was just a smaller school? Yeah. It was just a smaller school. And, um... The reason... Aunt Rich? No, school is free in Canada. Um... She said, like, a, yeah, it was like a small Christian school, but we didn't do any religious stuff. I don't, I don't understand why it was called a Christian school when I don't think I learned a single thing about religion, like, at all. It was weird. Anyways. Um. Oh, you had to pay for me to go there? Never mind. Apparently, my mom had to pay for me to go there. I had no idea. I thought school was free. Ha. Huh. I'm a sheltered kid. Um, so I guess it was a private school then. It was a private school. Um, so, in my first grade, when I, the first grade at like a public school, right? I, I remember during, I think it was during the first week. Someone had done something wrong. And this was a, this was a trend that went all the way through my school years. Was whenever the teacher would ask, who did this? Or did someone do this? I could not keep a straight face. I couldn't. I would be like smiling or smirking or giggling. I couldn't keep a straight face. So, something, I can't remember what it was, but someone did something very bad. Like, like, they, like, went into someone's, like, little bin of stuff and, like, stole something, and it was obvious. Was it? And I remember her being like, did you do this? I remember her hands on my shoulders. And she was like, did you do this? And I was like so nervous. I was terrified. And I did not want to make eye contact with her. And so instead of looking her in the eyes, I was like, I would I like look to the side and I like looked up and then looked around and just kept doing that. Cause I didn't want to make eye contact, but it looked like I was rolling my eyes. And at the time I didn't even know what that meant. And so she was screaming at me. And from her perspective, I was rolling my eyes. I didn't know what that even meant. And she was like, you're rolling your eyes at me now. And I was like, mm. and I was just terrified. And it was a terrible experience. And I, I, I can't remember if that's exactly what did it, but I was, I just like, I was terrified because I did nothing wrong. And the teacher was screaming at me for things that I didn't know why. <laughs> like just top of her lungs screaming. And so I, I, I'm pretty sure that was the thing that, like, that was the catalyst for me to switch schools. I didn't tell you that? Did I just say that I really didn't like school? Because it was probably stuff like that, where the teacher was just assumed I was, like, the worst with everything. But the great part is once, um... The, the school that I ended up going to afterwards, it was all like self-paced work. Like you got booklets that you had to work through and they expected you to do a certain amount every day, but I, we just worked through booklets. Will we ever start the run? The run has been started for three hours and 10 minutes. As a teacher that pisses me off so much. Oh, just you wait until, until you guys hear about my grade four teacher. She like actively encouraged kids to bully me. That was public school before you went to private school? Yeah. WTF? Yeah. It was the worst. It was like, she should have been fired. Like, I remember my mom crying to the principal because of what I told my mom of what was going on. Because she was like, please do something about this. And she was still a teacher. I remember sitting in the car and my mom was crying begging the principal to do something about it, and I don't think they did. Like, I remember gym class. Gym class, favorite class. As as a grade four boy, 
Gym class is the best time of the day. Best time of the week. I don't think you do it every every day. And I remember I would have to sit alone in the classroom for no reason. Other than the fact that I enjoy gym and I can't go to gym. Like it was that bad. Like I would sit alone in timeout. Alone. While everyone else got to go to gym. Like stuff like that happened. It was rough. Like she would specifically like isolate me from everyone else and oh, it was it was bad Like apparent I don't remember it But I, my mom said I would I think my mom said I came home crying like almost every day or something like that I think you said that right mom That's not legal. No, she should not have been a teacher Yeah, I was like a really outgoing and like confident kid up until grade four and then I was the most introverted, quiet person after that. It was rough. It was an awful year for you and me, and the, yeah. Is this about the fourth grade devil? Yes. I think she's still a teacher. Still, yeah. She might have retired. She was pretty old. I'm sure she's retired now. Yeah, she was pretty old. She always say, Great Balls of Fire. Because of a Johnny Cash song or something. Right? Is that Johnny Cash? Is that the right person? Jerry Lee Lewis? Jerry Lee Lewis, sorry. Ring of Fire. All right, mixing them up. No, it was Great Balls of Fire. Jerry Lee Lewis. Great R Ring of Fire is Johnny Cash. I'm certified to teach fourth grade. I'll go back to fourth grade and reteach you. Thank you. You should try and confront her for a video? No. Nah. That's boomer as heck? Oh yeah, she's old. It's been an entire dinner. Yeah, we're at a thousand resets. It's not bad. Did you ever find out why she was mean to you? The one thing... The one thing is that... Like, growing up... I think almost every single report card that I would get is like, he's incredibly disruptive, he makes a lot of noise, he's always fidgeting and making noise, but he has the best grades. <laughs> so I think it may have been just because I was like, I was always fidgeting. Did I? The ADHD does that to you. Yes, exactly. So did you have friends who defended you? I had, so I went from private school in grade three to public school in grade four. I was very sheltered in, in private school. I was very sheltered to the point, I remember the first day of school. I remember the first day of school. Someone walked up to me. His name was Nick. He walked up to me. He was like, you want to go? You know what I said? Go where? And he was just... What? Do you want to go? I'm like, go where? Where, do you, where are we going? <laughs> like, I had no idea. <laughs> And after that, he, he stopped being, like, aggressive. I mean, he continued to be aggressive once I realized what it meant. But yeah, it was... It was weird. It was so innocent. But I think by, by like, grade 8, I had formed a relatively thick skin. Yeah. 
No, I think I think the next time, next time, as I've as as if this happens often, uh, I think if anyone ever like wants to be aggressive and start to fight me, I think what I might do is um, I've seen it before and it's just hilarious. Uh, two people get into a fight. One person gets really aggressive, like he's clearly like intoxicated or something, or just an ass. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Take off the shirt. And then you start taking off your pants as well. <laughs> and they'll just stop. They'll just stop because they're like, what What are you doing? <laughs> just wearing underwear. That, that would, they would not want to fight you because you're they're basically fighting a naked dude. And, and the most reason, most likely the reason they're going to fight you is because, oh, I'm so masculine and angry. They're, you're fighting a naked dude. All right. All right, let's uh, fight your insecurities then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just wear socks. One, three, three, seven, come on up, let's go. Nine inch weapon. <laughs> My hands, baby! Nine inches! That's where the rip-away trousers would be useful. I need to get some of them, yeah. If I ever go to- if I ever think I'm going into a dangerous situation, I'll just tear off those bad boys. <laughs> One's tr- one strategically placed sock on my foot, right? You think this will take 69 hours? I don't think so. No, we'll probably get a, we'll, we'll get the shiny today, odds are. Fighting device from Ant, get naked. No, don't get naked. You can get arrested for that. Take off enough clothes that the other person is uncomfortable. If, if you think they'll get uncomfortable. Do you have to start a new game? No. This is not a good advice. I mean, here's the thing. They either fight you, or, uh, or you get some company for the evening. It's a win-win. They either don't want to fight you, or you get some company. Tanner, dot, 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 what? Elomeo, my lord. I'm gonna get canceled, please stop. What? This conversation was cursed? I don't know. This did take a weird turn. Ah, oh, crap, I picked you for Rita. Are you okay? I'm I'm starting to get a little loopy. The warm is the room is getting very warm. Random thoughts are spewing out of my brain. The filter is starting to go down. Today's been a great day. I'm glad you like the stream, yo-yo. It's been a great day. Uh, I see dude. Thanks to tier one and Wombat Combat. 14 months. Did I thank you for that? I don't even know. And Charlock, thanks to the subs. Nervous, cart, awful. Uh two RR mirror breaker. I think I missed those subs. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Ant Colony, guys. Sorry if I missed them. Alright. Can you increase the chance? Yes! So, the more I do it, the higher likelihood I have. Yeah, with, with every attempt is one attempt closer to being seeing a shiny. But the odds are always the same. The chance is 100% because I'm going to do this until I get one. Does not how probabilities work? It's 100% if I do it forever. What are the actual odds? Uh, 1 in 8,192. That actually is correct. I know. I know it's correct. That is how it works. If I do this 
for an infinite amount of time, I'm guaranteed an infinite amount of shinies. It's not that hard. I mean, you can simplify that too. If I do it for one amount of time, I get one shiny. So, uh, we just got to do it for one amount of time. What that amount of time is, I don't know, but that's all. That's what we got to do. Yo, affordable dream kitchen. Thanks to the prime. Appreciate it. By the way, every single time this reaches another hundred, that's another gift sub. We're at 12 gift subs currently. We'll get it when we get the, um... This man is so good at BS logic, I want him to be my defense attorney. Yeah. Why don't I use Gen 4 RNG manipulation? That feels like it's cheating. I want a Tota Dial if I could get a shiny. That's what I want. These are full odds, yes. These are not shiny locked. <clears throat> do -do. Are you going to do the gift subs through the whole run? I'm going to get the sub right when we get the shiny. I'll give the subs out. Isn't that over 50? Yeah, currently... We're at uh, $60 worth of subs. Do we already listen to Marty's theme? Yes. Let's change the music. Uh, what's the music? Magic Art Festival. I like that. We can do that. You guys ready for a sick beat? Oh, this is the Glitch City remix. Glitch City again. Shoutouts to Glitch City. If you want this song, check Glitch City. Let's go! It's so good, it is! Boop, boop, boop. What do gift subs do? It gives you 60 emotes. It makes it so you don't see ads. It gives you a badge beside your name. It gives you access to the sub-only stuff in the Discord, which includes the giveaways channel, which there's nothing active currently, but there's probably gonna be something in the next month or two. Can you raise its volume? Mm, no. Yes, I can. There you go. Um, and there's one other thing I can't remember though. A lot of time you do for your Kaz, Kazaz. Welcome to the stream. Speedrun's very speedy. Oh, it's fast. It's quick. It also supports me, yeah. I mean, if I give myself a sub, it doesn't really support me. I just give money to Twitch. But I also give you a sub. Listen to your mom, mom. What is it? That's what my mom's saying. User, small hand. I need a macro for this. Village bridge. All right, we'll play Village Bridge next. Macros a four letter command? No, user small am mom. Death surf, thanks for the four months, appreciate it. Does Twitch get a cut from subs and donos? Uh, I get, um, if you give me like one bit, I get one US cent. Like, I get a cent if you buy a bit and use it. But they, they do take a cut of subs. Can I tell us another story? Uh, let me think, let me think. What's another story? Hmm. 
Yeah, if you're donating directly through the donate link, I get 100% of that. Almost dying story? Hmm. I mean, there is what I could do the uh, the one with my mom. It's always a good story. So, um, I live in BC, but a lot of my mom's family lives really far east, like several days straight of driving to get there. And we were driving back home uh, one winter. I think it was like winter break or something. Yo, we hit one, two, three, four. Let's go. We were driving back, and it was it was icy. It was really icy on the road. It was winter, and um, I'm playing Pokemon as I usually do on my Game Boy Advance SP. And we, it, it like there was an advisory to not drive. It was that bad. We didn't see a single car on the road. Not a single car on the road the whole time. Because all of the cars were off of the road. They had driven into like the ditch. So we were driving down like a double lane highway and we counted probably several hundred cars off of the road. Like they were like, there was no one driving on the road because they could not stay on the road. And we were driving, not at like, the speed limit was probably like a hundred kilometers, or I think it's 110 kilometers an hour. We were probably driving like 50 or 60. Like, we were going slow. My mom was being very careful. But uh, I'm playing, and I, I I feel the car kind of, like, shift a little bit. Yeah, emergency vehicles were in the ditch. Exactly. Um, like, it was that icy. Captain Queen. And I remember, like, feeling it. It, like, shifted a little bit, and I, like... Look up, and my mom is like focused, and she's like trying to trying to get it back going, but it gets to the point where she's like turning the wheel like this, and we're going like, and then she starts to like panic, and we start to just spin, like we're just literally spinning down the road, and my mom lets go of the wheel. Puts one hand on my leg, one hand on the ceiling, and she starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Don't panic! It's gonna be okay! No! Don't panic! It'll be fine! It's, it's gonna be fine! It'll be okay! And she's just screaming. <laughs> top of her lungs. Hands completely off of the wheel. Just not even trying to save it. <laughs> And eventually, eventually, the, the spinning stops and we come to a halt. And we, and we stop. And we were totally fine. And she's just like... And then starts driving again. <laughs> but I remember her just screaming at the top of her lungs. Don't panic. It'll be fine. Don't panic at all. And I'm like... Uh, I'm I'm just playing Pokemon. I'm I'm just I'm just here playing Pokemon. <laughs> it was fine in the end, but my goodness, what was the song again, Mom? Or Snee? You've never heard of this story? You're video chatting with her now. Yeah. Village Bridge, Pokemon music. Not at the top of my lungs, yeah. Also, mom hyped is generally like a positive feeling. I'm just clarifying, if you don't know, you don't know. I don't think we- my mom- like, saying you were hyped means you were excited to crash the car. It's- it's not a good look. I mean, I know I wasn't that great of a, a road trip partner because all I did was play Pokemon, but I wasn't that bad. Maybe your maybe your mom was excited. Could be. You know. Oh, 
Oh, I remember. I remember my mom. Okay, so do you know when cars changed? I, I don't know if all cars have this. But you know the, the window buttons where you, um, where they're like, they used to be like buttons before and you could just like push up. You could clearly see that's up and that's down. Remember when it switched to like, you hook your finger in to pull it up and you push your finger down to push it down. Do you guys know that? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So my mom had gotten a car for like six months she had had this car. She knew how the windows worked. We were driving down the highway once, another road trip, something, going to visit family. And she goes to, I think she eats sunflower seeds a lot and she, I think she didn't have anywhere to put it. And so she just chucked the sunflower seed out the window. It's, it'll, it'll decompose, right? It's not that bad. It was something like that. Something like that, it, it was fine. We don't litter, don't worry. Um, and she opened the window just enough to do that. And then as she was going to like, she couldn't really fit her hand out. So she goes to open the window a little bit more because only her fingers were out. And she's driving at highway speeds. And one hand is out the window and she kind of just quickly like braces her knee against the wheel and goes to, to push it down. But the thing is, she, she completely forgets how it works and pulls it up and it pinches her fingers and she starts panicking. And so she's like driving at highway speed. She's panicking and I'm just playing Pokemon and I see her kind of moving around a little bit. So what is she doing? And then after she pulls it up again, she panics and holds it up. And so it just keeps pushing up on her fingers and she just starts screaming. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? What is she doing? <laughs> And eventually she like figures it out and like presses it down and gets her hands back on the wheel and gets back like going straight down the road. But she's just screaming at the top of her lungs about how she's like crushing her fingers and she's like, she just keeps pulling the button up and it just keeps getting tighter on her fingers cause it's the close button. <laughs> she just kept doing it. I don't... Your mom screams a lot? No, she really doesn't. It's just when she's driving. And just like, just freaking out. She doesn't actually scream all that much. That's not funny. It was just... It was unfortunate. But why... Why does she keep pulling up the window multiple times? Like, I mean, she, she pulled on the window. She like, let her hand go. Pulled on it again. Let her hand go. Pull on it. Hold it there, let go, put like she just kept trying the same thing over and over and it just kept getting tighter on her fingers. <laughs> My mom is crying laughing. Is that what she's she <laughs> Oh <clears throat> yeah, I'll change the music now. What's next? What's next? This is also Glitch City. There's Ends theme? No, it doesn't sound right. Where is it? I want Ends theme. Is it this one? Sure, we'll do this. We'll do this. Oh, I thought of another good story. Uh, what was it? What was it? This one is sad. It's so sad. We haven't got a shiny yet. So sad. No shinies. <laughs> oh, 
I can tell you about my dad's worst day ever. That was pretty funny. Alright, so my parents are separated, right? And so I was hanging out at my dad's place. And at the time, he, he had a, a girlfriend that had two kids. One was just learning how to be like potty trained and stuff. And the other one was, I think, like kindergarten. Or maybe like just about to start kindergarten or something, right? He kept using the word funny. It's kind of funny in hindsight. Looking back, it's it's funny at how it's strange. But anyways, we we ended up uh, my my dad had bought a boat and he had uh, it was broken, so he like fixed it up and he had, he had just finished fixing it up and it worked great. And he had uh, since the, the city that he lived in, Firebird. Thanks to the five bucks, by the way. Incoming shiny Santa Quill. All right. Um. But what ended up happening was, um, he'd fixed up the boat, and just with the, the living situation, he had to store the boat across town in, like, a garage. And so, um... We decided one day to go down to the river, all of us, and go, go in the boat. He'd got it fixed up. We're, um, we're ready to go. And so he... Grabs his phone, grabs his keys. It was a new phone, by the way. It was like a, a brand new, like... Uh, it, it was brand new. Like a really top-of-the-line phone. That's important. Um, and we go out to... Go on the river. And we, we get to the river and get to put the boat into the water. And as... We're putting it into the water, and it's in the water in the river, and he's, like, someone's holding on to it so it doesn't, like, float away or something. And he tries to start it. And the boat won't start. And it's a river that's fast enough that it's it's relatively hard to swim through. So the, holding on to the boat isn't that easy. So it, it won't start, and we try for, like, minutes, several minutes. And just, we just can't. Um... Completely unable to start the boat, so he ends up We we end up pull the boat back on we like crank it back onto the uh, the trailer the boat trailer and he, He's working on the boat. He's trying to figure out what's wrong with it because it, it just won't start There's nothing you can do to get it to start and so while he's doing that the he, he ends ends up handing his his girlfriend um, I think Shannon was her name he hands Shannon her phone because he's working on stuff, and um, I can't remember the kid's name, but the uh, the really young one that that just hasn't been like hasn't been um, like potty trained yet, kind of thing. He's just like kind of wad waddling around as as little kids do. And, but the one in kindergarten is like kind of jumping across rocks that are near the edge, and she no one really noticed. And since there are rocks on the side of a river, he slips and falls in to the river. That's like, it was probably, it would be probably pretty difficult for me to swim through. And so she is like panicking. She puts the, the, the younger kid down that isn't potty trained yet and just like dives in after him. Not thinking that she's holding the brand new phone. Literally brand new. Got it that day. And like her, her shoes literally come flying off. She's swimming to save him. Pulls him out. He's crying, of course. Because it's terrifying. Like that was a strong current. And like her, her shoes just floating down the river. They're gone. His phone is soaked. And so we like, we, we get it back in. She like, he's crying. She's worked up. The, the one that is a potty trained yet starts crying because everyone's freaking out. And so everyone is crying and eventually he can't even get the boat to work. And so we end up like calming them down and his phone is just soaked. So we, we put it away and uh, dry off a little bit. And we go and he, he gives up. He's like, let's just go home. Like everyone is soaking wet. Everyone's kind of miserable. I can't get the boat to work. And so we, um, he like he drives off his bow and puts it in the front, and uh, ends up going to um, 
going to Wookie. Thank you for the tier two. Welcome to the ant colony. I appreciate it. Bring the background. Thanks for the five months. And we we put the boat away in the th in the uh, the thing, and we start driving across town. And uh, the thing is, man, he really bought a lot of stuff recently. The thing is, he had just bought the that truck specifically so he could move the boat around. New music that week. That week he had got the truck. And that's important because the license plates hadn't arrived yet. Uh, we'll do, do this. And so we had like temporary license plates. Temporary plates. And the, the while we're going home, probably 20 minutes away from the garage, we get pulled over by the police. There's an issue with the registration. Or an issue with the plate or something like that. And so the police walks up to the window, says, uh, can I see your license and registration? And he says, sure. And he goes and he checks the registration is at home. He forgot to put it in the vehicle when he got the car, got the truck. And they say, can I see your license? And he left his license in the boat. <laughs> so he doesn't have his license or registration. There's two kids in the back, or there's one kid in the back just crying, soaking wet. His phone is completely broken, so he can't even like call anyone or do anything. He ends up like talking to the police officer. And I'm texting, and like, it's just, it's bad. I'm like, oh God, like, uh, is something like bad gonna happen? And he ends up talking to it and we figure it out. We end up going back, picking up the license and everything's worked out, but it just, it was sucked. And so we end up going back to the house and puts the phone in rice, gets the license, re license and registration thing all worked out. Like I was just playing Pokemon, of course. That's all I ever did. Um, and I'm sitting on the couch, and since the river, it's not like the cleanest river, like you like you shouldn't swim in the river, we were just gonna boat on it. And so they decide to like take a, to clean, to go take like a bath or a shower. And so end up like uh, taking all of the, um, they, they take, take all of her clothes kids off, they puts the uh, one that got wet in the shower and stuff. And the younger one is like kind of in the bathroom, but for whatever reason, the younger one managed to walk out of the bathroom and it was key information that the kid wasn't potty trained yet. And he was completely naked and he got out of the house and he started walking around the house and he started walking and I see him walking across and he's going to the bathroom as he's walking and he's just, it's just getting everywhere. Like, literally everywhere in this house. And the thing is, they had a dog that apparently really, really liked that kind of stuff. And so the dog just starts, like, rolling in it, running around the house. It's getting everywhere on the carpet, on the floor. And I'm just like, what? I, I don't notice this for a little bit until the dog's, like, sprinting around and I just smell it. It's just everywhere. And it's just, what is that smell? I look up and there's just streaks of brown all over the floor. The, the, the child is walking around in it. The dog is sprinting, doing laps, just getting it everywhere. <laughs> and so I like tiptoe around it all, go to the bathroom and, and she's like washing the one person, the one, the one kid is like, yeah, so there's poop everywhere. And she's like, what? It's like literally everywhere. And she's like, oh God. And so my dad is the only one like not really doing anything. He had just dealt with that. And so we had to like spend the entire rest of the day completely washing the house. And yeah, at the end of it all, that that's how the day was capped up. But at the end of it all, everyone was clean. I think we, we ended up just having supper and yeah, that, so that's probably like the, the, the shittiest day. I think probably my dad has ever had in a long time, at least. Red Knight, thanks for the 16 months. I appreciate it.
Like, it was a long day. Literally shittiest day. Yes. Literally. And I was just playing Pokemon. Like... What was my best day ever? Oh. Yo, Christian, thanks for the Prime. I... Have a perfect... I had a, a perfect week. I, I've told you guys about it before. But I can tell you guys about my perfect week. That sound good? It was, uh... It was spring break. I think it was in between grade 7. Or it was like grade 7 or grade 8. I didn't... None of my, like, um... Friends from school were able to visit. Because they all went out of town. What are we playing now? What are we picking now? Rustboro City. Alright, we'll do that. Do, 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 do. It's kind of quiet. No, it's good. Never mind. Do, 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 do. All right. So what was I saying? What was I saying? Right, right, right. Okay. All of my friends are out of town. So what ended up happening was uh, my two cousins. My two cousins ended up. They came up and decided to spend the week. It was uh, their name was Tristan and Will. Uh, let's say that. <clears throat> and Tristan was, I think, a year younger than me. Will was like two or three years older than me, I think. And basically that week, I was at the age where you're old enough that your parents trust you to be responsible, but young enough that you haven't realized the cruel harshness of the real world yet. <laughs> it was at that perfect blissful age where you have some freedom, but also everything's great. <laughs> so never not nah, it was good and uh literally most of my memory from the week is in the daytime we ended up getting a uh, we got a snowmobile it was a we had a really small snowmobile that like we could all pick up if we lifted our hardest and uh we tied a rope to the end of it it was about like a, a 10 foot rope and tied the end, other end of the rope to a toboggan and we would snowmobile. We had a really large yard, like a huge yard, like acres and acres. And um, we ended up, one person would drive, one person would try to get the person on the toboggan off. And the other person would sit backwards on it and be like a spotter. And whenever they'd fall off, you'd like tap the other person on the shoulder and we would rotate. And so it was just so fun. Just screwing around, like, snowmobiling all day, trying to knock the other person off of the back. It was exhausting, but it was a blast. It was so much fun. Like, whenever lunch was ready, my mom would be like, lunch is ready. We'd go in for soup and sandwiches and uh, maybe some, like, type of dessert. And uh, then go back out, play again in the evening. They had the same interests as me, so we would play Pokemon. We ended up sweeping through the doubles battle tower. Um in the evenings and stuff and like we ended up making like some some i can't remember it was like some type of maple syrup candy in the snow i remember doing that and it was just a hundred percent of the time was fun and like all of the meals were good everything was perfect like nothing ever went wrong the entire week where it was just fun the whole time like, just, I, I just remember, like, feeling so warm and happy for a week straight. It was, I woke up, and it was just so fun. I had such a Canadian life, I mean, there's snow, might as well use it. Picora, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate the support. What about the week after? Oh, it was good. Just went back to school. Is it weird to say your voice is soothing? I get that occasionally. Nope, don't want that. 
Boom, boom. What's the most interesting thing that happened to me at a sawmill? Oh, probably my favorite thing, actually. Um... One of my favorite things. Uh, so I was working at the sawmill, and we were working... Uh, I was on the night shift, or the graveyard shift, so I worked midnight to 8 a.m. at the time. And... Yo, Leet! Let's go! What three these seven? Woo! Post more on YouTube? I'm going to, don't worry. Ah, no shiny. Um... We're working at night, and... I remember... Hearing a huge explosion. Like, it was a- it was a big boom. Like, you could feel it in your chest. And then all of the power went out. And I couldn't see anything, because it's nighttime. Some emergency lights came on, but I remember walking over to, like, the break room, and, uh, just seeing, like, some... Like, it wasn't, uh... It wasn't a fire, but it was, like, something was glowing. Like, it was, like... Just, like, a... Like, red and hot. And, uh, what ended up happening, and it was like 3 a.m. at that point, everyone's exhausted because it's 3 a.m. And, uh, we looked over and what had happened was a crow had flown into the transformer that powered the, um, that powered the thing and just exploded. It just exploded. Rip crow, yeah. But I mean, it, for like the next three hours, we couldn't work because the power was out and it's nighttime. You can't see anything. So we just like sat in the break room for, for three hours, played board games and stuff. Just hung out, chatted with each other as they uh, replaced the transformer. And by like 6 a.m. they'd done it. So we, we worked for another two hours and then went home. But but yeah, it, it was my favorite. Most, it was not, the board games weren't even great. It was just that the crow died. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good, good day. Something else is once I got into like, once I got on a day shift for that, that uh, that job, and I did a different type of job. You have a good sleep, lemonade. Um, I ended up. Uh, what happened? I, I worked with someone a lot, right? The the same person every weekend. They were the welder. Their name was like Amber, I think. I know it was Amber. I don't know why I said I think. Um, I worked with a welder. And uh, I would just talk to her, tell her about my week, and we'd catch up every week. Like, once a week, I'd talk to her about it, and uh, I remember talking to her. She's, like, only... Uh, not 30 yet, but I think, like, 27, 28 age. Like, older than me by a good amount. But uh, she was probably one of the youngest people there, because most of the people there were, like, 50, 60, 50, 60s. They've worked at the Samo their whole life. They despise that they spent their whole life working at the sawmill. Uh, grumpy old men, essentially. Um... <laughs> and, uh... I remember we, we ended up talking... We got it! That's a shiny totodile! Woo! That's the one I wanted, too! 1,352 resets, baby! Woo-hoo! Let's go! Alright. Didn't take that long. I told you I'm feeling lucky. I want that totodile. Oh, I will receive the totodile from Professor Elm. Let's go! Give a nickname? Yes! What are we gonna nickname this beautiful shiny totodile? Oh, what are we gonna name it? Uh, all right, you guys aren't gonna let it forget. We're gonna name it Nine Inches. All right, Nine Inches. Yo, Jason, thanks for the 13 subs. I appreciate it. Nine Inches, okay. Boo. Nine inches is the nickname you want to give, yeah. I'll give him. I I almost <laughs> that was close. I almost said I'm almost gonna give him, and then uh, and then is the username. Okay, you can take it all the way to the professor's house. I need to save the game. I am terrified. Let me save the game. Let me save the game. Save. Yes. It only took four minutes. 
Easy, dude. Easy. Woo! Let's go. Jumu. Killing noobs. Thanks for the three months. Thanks for the subs, everybody. Oob woo do. All right. Let's get this regular gameplay music on now. Sound settings. Turn that up to a hondo. Okay. Turn that down a little bit. Let's let's look at her. Let's look at nine inches. Ooh, ooh. Would you look at that? Likes to run. Naive. I need to gift 13 subs. We're gonna do that right now. She loves to run. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. We finally got one. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give the subs. I'll give the subs. And now the challenge is on its way. Alright, uh... Give a specific number. Do Zayna, thank you for the 13 subs. I appreciate it. I'll do 13 as well. Here you go. 13 subs coming your way. That is what I say. Anybody get the reference? Um, there you go. Welcome to the Ancona, you 13. Do, 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 do. Okay. She's so good. She's so she's so pretty. Yo, someone got the reference. I saw you. I saw you. Save again just in case. Is it just me or is it slowing? Did it did the music slow down? I don't even know. Why don't you have these up with your tasks? Thank you so much. Potions. Classic double save just in case. Justin. Let's go. Why is it nine inches? That's how wide my hand is. Yo, what's up, Lyra? I think. All right, we got Totodile. We're on our way. Let's talk to it. Okay, let's talk to her. Hey. Oh, there's a leaf. It's a leaf. That's a leaf. We got a shiny. I love her. All right. What kind of task? I see it sounds a little difficult when someone makes that kind of request. It must be important. That's right. Completely forgot Poke Gear. Thank you so much, Mom. <clears throat> Incinerator, thanks for the prime. Well, now we're on our way then, huh? Oh, I press B. Yo, that's a hype train? The hype train just started again? Oh my god. Now it's game time, baby. All right. I don't think we'll have time to finish this challenge today. But we're gonna be... Maybe we will. I don't know. This might not be hard because it's a solo run. Solo runs are pretty fast. We'll see. Devil Maki, thanks for the prime. Do, 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 do. Yo, that's a level 3 hype train. Let's go. Yo. Resident. Cool. Resident. No, eco ecologist. Thanks for the 10 months. Anna Smithy, thanks for the prime. Let's go. Check. Oh my god, so many freaking subs. I appreciate it. Please give me running shoes. TN Lightfoot gifting three subs? Well, how many was that? It's not even. TN Lightfoot gifting 13. Strong Sword gifting 10. Chairman Biscuit gift with the prime. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so shiny. It's so good. I've never had a shiny Totodile. Ah! She's so good. She's so pretty. Yo, thank you for the 1,352 bits from Abby Bagel. Congrats on the nine inches. Thank you. Down says with the five subs. What the heck? Wyatt Games, thanks to the Prime. And Walgreens discount, thanks to the sub. Let's go. Lunatic, thanks to the eight. Late night somewhere with 13... Give subs as well. Thank you. Look at her. She's so shiny. Okay. Savant Lauer, thanks for the prime. Woo! Okay, Stingray, thanks for the tier one. All the 13 gift subs. Thank you so much. That's a level 5 hype train at 170%. That is amazing. Oh, it's so cute. 
Thanks 100 bits, everybody. Thanks for the gift of sub, Ghost Killer. I appreciate it. Dude, did you expect to get sub four? I, I don't know. I did not know how long it was going to take. I figured we could get it in a day, but... I was really hoping that we'd get it today. And I was really hoping we'd get a Totodial. What I wanted was a Totodial, and that's what we got, and I'm very happy about it. Big boy Iceman. Thanks for the tier one. Level 6. 9 inches is getting so strong. Learned Water Gun. Very nice. Woo! I can check his IVs uh, if you want. Manatee of Fate. Thanks for tier 1. Thanks for 300 bits. Scriptic. Thank you. Your rookie trainer? Yes. Your AC on. Thank you for the 5 gifted subs. That's a, The hype train is just blowing up. What the heck? Thank you. Nine inches learned water gun. Yes, it did. Do, do, do. Running shoes. Thank you. No, give me the shoes. Give me your shoes, old man. Visuals. Thanks the eight months. Welcome back. Do, 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 do. Saint Verde. Thanks for the prime. Do, 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 do. How much you guys want to bet? We just happened to find another shiny as we're playing the game. Let's row Rex. Thanks for the tier one. This challenge seem BS for me? No, it's not BS. What are you talking about? All right, finally got the running shoes. Let's go. CD dump. Thanks to the tier one. Thanks for all the subs, you guys. I appreciate it. Default these bad boys to being on. There we go. That's better. Old man, I'm done with you. Another token for me, take it. A map card, okay. Whew. Rose Wolf, thanks to the Prime. We're at level five, 253%, that's insane. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's go. Four hours already and we got the running shoes, absolutely. Oh, it's so shiny. Can I do this? Can I move this? I don't know how to move it. Josh, thanks. Josh, red mage. Thanks to tier one. How long did we get it? Just a moment ago. What are the odds of finding a shiny in the wild? One in 8,000. All right, now that we have this, are we going to add any additional rules? Or are we just gonna play? All right, what, one with one thing. No items in battle. No items in battle. Does that sound good? It's not a Nuzlocke. I mean, I could say it's a Nuzlocke until we die and then it's not a Nuzlocke anymore. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I'm not gonna catch a shiny after every badge. I really don't want to do that. Do, do shinies have better base stats? They do not. Not at all. They used to in Gen 2, but not since then. How are you gonna fly? I won't fly. You can't. Ooh, level seven. If I never faint, it's technically a Nuzlocke. How are you gonna cut? The reason why I wanted Totodial is because Totodial can learn cut. You got the train, Abby? Let's go. Thank my prime. Thank you, Rover Dog, for the two months. Are you going for red? We'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel. Ant it out. Ant I don't. 
All right. Totodile's gonna learn a lot of HMs, yes. Because, I mean, yeah. Do you have specific shinies? Yes, I do, but I'm not gonna spoil it too much. Are you gonna try from the increased shiny chance on the daycare egg? It's not increased in this gen. I have to get a shiny for both regions? Alright, I'll get a shiny for both regions. I'll, I'll get a gen 1 shiny too, don't worry. Uh, do not let it evolve. I'm letting it evolve. <laughs> I'm letting this bad boy. I want this to get strong. It's not a 116 egg in this version. No. When are you streaming this next? I do this every Wednesday. Pokemon challenges are every Wednesday. Um, tomorrow we're doing meme speedruns in Breath of the Wild, I believe. Do 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 do. Man, I leave for one hour, hey, it happens. Don't worry, we'll see others. All right, all right, how about, how about this? If, if, if we just happen to find another shiny. At any point, because uh, I'm feeling generous. If we happen to find another shiny at any point, I'll give 50 more subs. Wait, only shiny? How many times do you have to reset for Totodile? That's how many. If we happen to just find another one by chance. But I'm gonna make sure we have a lot of Pokeballs just in case we find one eventually. No, not if we happen to find one. The ga Not including the Gyarados. Alright? Not including the Gyarados. The Gyarados is a given. Ugh. Should be fine. Oak heals us. Ooh. <laughs> Why is it called nine inches? That's the width of my hand. Anybody got the clip? Are you actively hunting? No, I'm not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He looks so good. He's so shiny. Can you beat Pokemon Soul Silver with only nine inches? <laughs> uh, good damn title. Yeah. Yours is better? Yeah, I, I, it was it was including view count stuff. Just wondering what are we talking about? Um, beating the game with only nine inches. All right, I think we're healed up. Let me check. Yeah, nine inches is all good to go. Not saying thanks to the prime. Professor Elm's like, oh, come back. Uh, oh, no. Uh, hello, it's a disaster. Uh, 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 uh. All right, good stuff. <clears throat> you know what I think this, I think I'm going to make a YouTube video for this. And it's going to be a really, oh, I'm gonna make a YouTube video for this, for sure. <laughs> the YouTube video is gonna be about 60 seconds to two minutes long. And it's just gonna be so dumb. The hunt for nine inches. Big boy ice man, thanks for the gifts up. It's it's literally just the whole video is just gonna be er, it, I think no, maybe the first The first like 
two minutes will be the whole run. And then after that, it'll just be me talking while we were shiny hunting. Does that sound good? <laughs> it'll just be like, all right, you get a shiny starter. If it happens to be Totodile, you can solo run the whole game with it. Great. Catch a Gyarados if you want. And then it shows me beating the game. It's like, anyways, here's, uh... Here's me, here's what happened during the shoddy hunting. <laughs> oh no! Just cut all the out of context stuff together, please? Yeah, we can. Anyway, the shiny chance has increased? No, it's not, not at all. Look at this pathetic Chikorita. It thinks it's so special. All green? No. <laughs> I'm blue and green. <laughs> Passerby boy. <laughs> it just said passerby boy. Is this the boy? Is that who this guy is? Do, 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 do. The boy. <laughs> do, 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 Not just any boy, but the best boy. Yup. Where do you need to use cut? Um... Get through I likes forest. T Burns, thank you for giving me a sub to nine inches. Nine inches. Welcome to the ant colony. I'm glad you're here. Do do do. How long does stop resetting take? Four hours. Took four hours to get a shiny. Are right, playing with the controller? Kind of. Kind of am. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Please don't put in the explanation for the name Nine Inches in the YouTube video. Everyone will be so confused. Maybe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Kinda? Yeah. I use this. This is what I use. It's like kind of a keyboard, but kind of a controller, because it has a joystick on it. What is that? It's a controller keyboard thing. It's a Logitech G13. Yo, Cat Like Charlie, thanks for the seven. Appreciate it. Oh, I can't wait until my nine inches evolves. Can't wait to see what it sees. Do, does it change the color palette at all as it evolves? I know some Pokemon do that. What do you use inches instead of centimeters? Um, that's how, I mean, most people here know what inches are. It evolves into 10 inches, but that's only if you push it. You must be the one who did it. I did not do it. Nah. Alright, we're naming him the man. Or the boy. Boy or the man. I think most people said the man. I'll let you guys vote, actually. The boy or the man, because it was passerby boy. All right, there you go. <laughs> the boy. The boy. All right, all right. That's probably enough people. 
Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna win. The boy it is! The boy! The boy was his name, yes. He's the boy. So Chad voted for. Bad call, hey! Chad made a bad call then. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I'm so happy we got Totodile. I'm so- I got a mystery- handed the mystery egg. I don't need no dang mystery egg. No, 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 no. I don't want that garbage. Uh, you got the shiny I did? All right, mom. What are we voting for? Nothing. Nothing anymore. We can close the poll. It's gone now. Okay. Long journey. Do I? I don't know. Don't save money for me. Save money. She spends it on. Can you get shinies from eggs? You could, but it would be very hard. Do you have Pokemon Bank? No. It has 19 to 18. Oh, it's special attack IVs. Suck. Okay. That's all right. Why well, have a mustache? I woke up literally at one when the stream was supposed to start. No shiny. All right, I'll just speed through that. Got the Pokeballs, excellent. Smustache, yes. Just got back, how many resets did it take? And what is a starter? Both of that is on screen. <laughs> speed up, come on, you guys didn't want to watch that. We know how to catch it. How many are you trying to get? As many as I need. As many as I need. I should probably take it out. Gator's special sucks anyways. It's a physical, physical dagger. Oh yeah, I guess there is a physical special split in this game. That's true. To total I will learn rock climb for red. You don't need rock climb for red. We someone people said that last time and we discovered that that was not the case That is not the case All right, thanks for the two months first time ever resetting welcome back and candid learn. Thanks for the 500 bits first ever shiny was in this game catch tutorial was shiny Really? Oh. The one thing that I'm thinking about is um if they force the Tokopi egg onto us. We could box it. You don't have to collect it. The thing is, resetting for a shiny egg, you need to get the egg. You need to save before you get the egg. You need to... Run all the way, hatch the egg, see if it's shiny. That would take forever. There's a higher chance this one doesn't, no. Like, you have to save before you get the egg. Hmm. We could just put it in the PC. I'll, I'll, once we get to the egg, I'll take a poll. Whether you guys want me to grind for it to be shiny, or just box it. Count the steps the first time and save right before the last step. When you get the egg is when the shininess is determined. 
When you get the egg is when its shininess is determined. You can't do it right before it hatches. So you'd have to save before, grab the egg, then catch it. Or you, you'd have to... You couldn't catch it. You'd have to get the egg, walk to hatch it, see if it's shiny, reset, get the egg, watch the hatch it. It would take five to ten... It would probably take like a minute each reset. Probably over a minute, I would say. So it would take up to... A thousand hours. Hundred, a hundred... Most likely it would take... Yeah. Up to like a thousand hours. Like, realistically, it'd take, like, a hundred, which would be the rest of the year's Pokemon streams hatching Tokopis. Even with speed up, yeah, it would take about a minute to hatch it. Literally the rest of the year. No, I want your number. Yes. Let's go. Do you mean a thousand minutes? It's shiny only, which is why I'm not gonna use it. We'll be forced into our inventory. It's an egg, it's not a Pokemon. We don't have to use it. Shiny Pokemon only. It's not a Pokemon, it's an egg. <clears throat> Point girl level cop out. I'm not wasting the rest of the year's Pokemon streams to hatch a Togepi. I have other things I gotta do. We'll give it like 10 attempts. We'll probably do it like 10 attempts. And then if we don't get it, we'll just box it. Make it 20, 100 attempts. What do you guys think? How many attempts? How many attempts would it be worth? 100, 50, 10, 20? We'll decide when we get there. We'll decide when it's given to us. When is it given to us again? Is it after the first gym? It's after the first gym, okay. All right. Sixty nine attempts. Okay, a lot of people are saying sixty nine. Make people gift a sub every attempt. Yeah, you know what I could do. Is every time someone gifts a sub, it's, uh, it's another attempt. <laughs> uh, boo, eggs forever. That seems like a bad idea, yeah. It's probably not a good idea. Like a subathon? Kind of. As Antarl and Ludwig, we're pretty much the same height. I love this music. Yo. It's totally how it's supposed to look. I'm playing in widescreen, baby! Cheating? What are you talking about? Boop, 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 boop. 
But is Eric really 5'4"? Like, actually, did you not see the proof? I want this. What's up, Abby? It's a Tanner. How tall am I? I'm 6'1". Do, 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 do. Gotta sleep. You have a good sleep. What shiny are we looking for now? We're not looking for a shiny currently. We're looking to beat the first badge. Hundred and eighty-five centimeters for those of you in Europe and everywhere else in the world other than the the US. Oh, okay. It's only level two. All right, your fingers are good. They're feeling good. Big boy Iceman. Thanks for the sub. I've met Ant IRL. He is 6'1". Cool. Do, 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 do. Eric is the only one that lies about his height. You're right. Can't evolve Togepi until after the Elite Four. Yeah, I do know that. Is that controller easier in your hands? It's just, it's comfortable, and I have one free hand to do whatever I want. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I'll fight your bugs. Don't, what happens if you lose a battle? Uh, do we go back to the Pokemon Center? Do, 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 do. Should you pull an all-nighter, Goldie? No, you shouldn't. Yeah, we'd lose money as well. That's true. And it's female, that's extra rare? Yeah, someone said this was a 1 in 64,000 chance to get a female shiny Totodile. Alright, here's what I'm willing to do. Here's what I'm willing to do. Do I... I would be willing to go until we get a shiny Tokopi if we use an instant hatch on Tokopi. Because that would make it so it would still take a long time, but it's a reasonable... Like, it's reasonable. I'll let you guys vote. Once we get there. Because, like, we got lucky. Getting it in one three five two. We'll see. Yeah, we, we got lucky. This is like the thirty percent, or this is like the thirty percent range. I'm only getting it for fly. No, it's forced into our inventory. And it has to be shiny if it's in our, in our, with our Pokemon, right? If we use it. It was a 39% chance? Yeah. But this has full odds. We have 39% chance to get one. Tokopi has uh, the full, what, full odds, the one in 8,000. Whereas this one had three times the likelihood of happening. How did you drop? A lot of gift subs ran out, that's all. He finally got it and missed it? Yep. Will you finish today? I hope so. Probably not. Do, 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 do. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. 
Um, I guess we'll do Sprout Tower next. They should have Vine Whip, which will be a little strong. Okay. Have I saved recently? I don't know. I feel like... scared. But I'm trying to think of all the... It, it, in the original games, I don't think they force Tokopi into your inventory. Hopefully that's not the case here and we can just ignore it. If we can just ignore it, we're good to go. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm broken, you can whisper it to me, yeah. Okay. They forced the Togepi on you in the original? Hmm. Alright. Alright. Are the boss spots like level 2 babies? I think so, yes. What level does Totodile evolve at? Is it... It must be a later level because it burned water gun. They forced it on you? Ugh. We could just box it, but... 18? Okay. Most people are saying 18. I'll take 18. I guess we'll see when we get there. Yeah, and then it gets Ice Fang at 20. Which is what I would like. Fight absolutely 9 inches. Uh, Rage. Yes. Okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? We didn't play the other ad from earlier. Someone redeemed an ad earlier. I redeemed one of them, but not the other. Boop. Ad secret? Um... I don't know. You guys want something? What do we want? What do you want? Fab, thanks for the Prime. I mean, the only secret that I can give you is that there's a video coming out today. Today there's a video coming out before, or maybe not today, but before I go to sleep. How do I phrase this? I will not sleep until there is a new YouTube video on my channel uploaded. That's the ad secret. Either tonight or tomorrow morning. It's not a secret video. It's pencil sharpening. Be coming out. Was thanks for the four months. Welcome back. What is the nut button reward? When it's on, it's this. Hot. 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 Is there a way to go back and look at the previous one of the stream? Yeah, you can check the VODs if you tap on my face. There should be like a videos tab you can find. Watch on Chromecast if you've never seen an ad. Ooh, nice. I need to cut my fingernails. It's getting a bit long. Alright, little baby bell sprouts. One hit KO. Are they nine inches? No, not maybe if you add all of them up. 10, 20. If you add all of them up, maybe. Could be. What about the level 10 battle sprout? Oh, what level 10 battle sprout? Chuchi Ride Jewel, thanks for the seven. Welcome. Back to the ant colony. My nine inch nails. Yes. Of course. The first gym is going to be hard. No, I'll just get Ice Fang and 1 KO everything. Two bit. Thanks for the prime. You have a good sleep, Ms. Rogue Flame? All right. No, that's not the right way, sir. Bathroom break. Did anything happen? I got a shiny Totodile. Alright, level 6, that's a little bit higher. It did survive that, it hits me with the vine whip. 
Ooh, that's some damage, okay. All right. You know you got shiny Pokemon? That's true, yes. You are right. A little squirt, what do you call me? Squirt. Is there a shiny clause? The whole thing is a shiny clause. I can only catch Pokemon if they're shiny. Yeah. The project prototype, thanks to the Prime. Appreciate the support. Do you have to have a full team? No, I don't. Oops. Let's turn that off. We're ready to go. Okay. What do you guys think? First try, Tokopi Shiny. First try. Does that seem good? Yo, it has a really good attack, Ivy. That's awesome. Hypnosis, get out of here with that crap. Come on. Can game corner Pokemon be shiny? Yes, but that would not be fun. A little unnecessary. All right. If it's first try, you'll move to Canada. All right. I mean, that seems like a win for you. You won't have to live in the U.S. <laughs> Nine Ninja just wants to learn Scary Face. To fight me mostly? Well, mostly, I do be hating it here. <laughs> Should have... Why do we have so many potions? Where did we get those? What the heck? The us is messed up right now? We are. I'm from Canada, just kidding. Durr, US is bad, peak funny millennial, I'm, yeah. It, it, it hits, it, it works every time, alright? Yes, you do, Alpha Pentagon. Alright, steal the escape rope. Thank you. You guys ready? Fight the old man, so good of you to come here. Whatever, old man. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Elderly. We're fighting the elderly, okay. Let's crush the elderly with our nine inches. What a sentence. His name is Elder Lee. We're crushing the Elder Lee with our... Nine inches. It, it's, it's a completely valid sentence that doesn't have any other meanings. Doesn't Bite do more damage? Yeah, probably. I should do that. Whoops, I scratched again. Alright. Peck, good stuff. Took him out. Easy victory. It's fun to watch. Good night. Good night, Frogma. Well, that's that. We just got Flash. Thank you for the TM. TM, there's still one use in this game. So we gotta make sure I only use that on Togepi. 
If we if we do that, if we get a Togepi. Uh, should I just get out? I don't even know. Okay. Ooh, one hit. Very nice. Are the shiny odds increased? No, they're full odds. None of that baby stuff. None of that baby stuff. Alright. Alright. Isn't there a escape rope at the top? Yeah, I grabbed it, but we'll probably use it later. Is Togepi even useful? No, but it's forced upon us. So I, I want to kind of use it as a meme. I mean, actually, it can learn fly. Once we evolve it, it can learn fly. Just catch a random Mon for Flash. A random shiny Mon for Flash? Or a random Mon, because it has to be shiny. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the gym. Mid pass the starter. I did. Yes. Yeah. Flash isn't necessary. It's not necessary at all. But it'll help us go through some caves. Save the game. All right. Ready to fight the first gym? Let's just give it a try. Bzzz. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, sounds good. I'm broken. All right. How do you capture your screen like this? Magic, mostly. Uh, bite. I guess water gun would do more. Whatever. Or would it? Whoa, that was a crit. Okay. A pronounceable username. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. All right. Yeah, bad special attack. That's true. Level 16. Very nice. Shouldn't evolve. Right, Doc Tour Mundo. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. How long is stream gonna go on for? Ah, another 20 minutes. Do, 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 do. Why does no one acknowledge my shiny? Because everyone saw me get it. <laughs> nice. Meister, thanks for the gift sub. Appreciate it, Meister FM. Thank you so much. I think we should just be able to take out the gym if I just bite. Pretty sure. It shouldn't be that bad. This should be a pretty easy gym. I'll save beforehand just in case. Is it no X items gonna be kinda rough if you battle red? We'll see. Might not be so bad. Might be able to learn like Swords Dance or something. Oh, I guess we're saving again. There's a bottom screen? Yeah, it's right there. It's a dual screen game. Alright. Should be able to one hit KO most of these, I think. At least the first one? Almost. Oh, sand attack. Really? Come on, man. That's okay. <sighs> we'll just bite twice, take it out. Should be an easy victory. We won't miss an attack. And we flinch. And we miss. Okay, well, we'll miss one attack, but that's fine. Can we explain the nine inches joke? I don't understand it either. It's just... My hand... Looks like it's... Oh, we flinched again. Let's go. Easy, Jim. What did I tell you? Two flinches? Not a problem. 
Level up. Ooh. The best cam. Thanks for the nine. What's the baby's name? I don't know. Whew. All right. Two flinches and nine inches. Let's go for pity's sake. All right. Playing the whole game today? We'll see. Probably not. Probably not. Hidden room mock. Move rock smash. TM51. Roost. Very nice. Probably won't be able to use that. Okay, so that's gym one. Now, I believe once we exit this gym, I think we're going to get a, a, a Tokepi. And it may force it into our inventory, so we may have to reset for it. We'll see. I'm gonna save again when I'm right out the door. Alright, let's see. Is it right when we walk out? Yep. You discovered something. I can't say anything while you carry the egg. It's at the Poke Mart. Can you meet him and pick up the egg? Do I not? It doesn't force you until later in the game. You have to get it right now. It forces you now. Okay. Don't talk to me right away. Okay. Try not getting it. What if what if it's a shiny though? No. RNG manipulation. Can you just leave it? I don't think so. Let's... We'll come back when we have the bike. Uh, I want to hatch it once. I'm going to hatch once just to see. I'm going to hatch it once just to see. Because you do have to take it. Take care of it for me, is that understood? Yeah, it seems like it was required story progress. Thought we were into hatching. I'm gonna hatch the first one legit. What happens if we hatch the egg? What happens if we hatch the egg in the mart? Cause then she's like, a good egg. It would Well, it's so laggy, don't worry about it. Can you save one step before it hatches? No, shininess is set when you get the egg. Yeah, it's not laggy, it's the opposite. It's sped up. We're gonna try it. We're gonna hatch it like this, and then I'm gonna hatch it inside the mart and see what she says. We'll reset, obviously, because, it w I mean, it might not be shiny. Best trainer alive, yeah. Does it say 1,352 resets? Yep. Are eggs 1 in 8? No, they're 1 in 8,000. It may be close to hatching. Why haven't you evolved 9 inches? We just haven't got the opportunity to yet. Do 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 do
Okay. How many shines will you get? Two or three, it'll depend. The egg, it determines it right when you pick it up. So... We have to do all of the hatch- I can't just save right before it hatches, because then it will never be shiny, unless it's always shiny. Okay. Yo, is this cute charm? No, I don't know what cute charm means. There's nothing to do with cute charm. You done yet? You cannot save. Oh, it's gonna hatch soon. Let's go, shiny Togepi first try. First try. Make this easy. Just make this easy so we don't have to talk about it. Just give me a shiny. Speed up more, I can't. This is the max. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. Is that how it's always been? Yes. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Hold B, this is running. Why isn't it saying oh? I hate how Togepi takes so long to hatch. Togepi is one of the longest Pokemon to hatch, isn't it? Togepi's worse? Hmm. So, it's annoyingly long, yeah. Like, annoyingly long. Imagine doing this at full speed. It would probably take, no joke, two years. It takes over 2,500 steps to hatch it. So yeah, if we, if we decide on this, we'll take the bike and come back. Speed it up more, I can't. It's impossible. Oh? Just make me astronomically lucky. That's not shiny, right? <laughs> I don't believe that's shiny. Let's try and leave without it. We'll come back when we got the bike. What's the hurry? Some guy wearing glasses was looking for you. He's waiting at the Pokemart. To make this more bearable, I'm just gonna get the insta hatch. <laughs> I think this shows information, so I'm gonna hide it for a moment.
Alright. Should be good. Do, 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 do. You take this egg? Yes! I will. Ooh, challenge rune, whatever. Save now? No! Saving now, we'd have to reset the entire game. Oh? Heck. Would you like to nickname the newly hatched Tokopi? No. I want to see this. I mean, we could just say no glitches. <laughs> I never wrote the command. I never wrote the description. Well, what does she say? So we, we... Oh my, that egg must be what egg? What? That egg is truly an important egg. What are you talking about? I don't have an egg. Jenny has red in the middle and blue on the sides. Alright. No. 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 Insta hash. Insta. No. No. Oh, wait. It's working. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Uh, I gotta turn it on. One sec. Uh, I gotta go into here. This is gonna, if, if this is gonna, uh, this is gonna be the worst. Do, 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 do. Oh? Dude, that, we're gonna box it. We're probably just gonna box it. Go outside first, then turn it on. Yeah, I think if that's on, it doesn't restart. Heck. So we gotta do this. There we go. Alright, we'll give it one more attempt. Need a reset counter? Uh, the reset counter is updating. We'll try it one more time. You can store eggs in this game for sure. Slowly smarter, thanks for the five months. Appreciate it. Can you box the egg to the bike? Well, no, it's when you get the egg is when the shininess is determined. Uh, I hate having to like go to this screen to hide the thing because it shows like it'll show my other stuff. I think that would be an issue. Alright. Want to see more other stuff? Nah. No, like doxy stuff. Right. Yeah, let's see. Um. Alright. One more. One more. One more. It's right there. All right. I want to I want to go. Okay, we can do this now. We can do that now. We can do this. We can do that. We can turn on that. Okay. Uh en enable that. Enable. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Maybe we'll just get insanely lucky. That's not shiny, right? 
Nope. All right. We're just gonna box it. We're just gonna box this thing. If it never hatches, it's technically never a Pokemon, right? Togepi is so hard to tell, yeah. Alright, alright. Boo! We know deep inside it's not shiny? No, it could be shiny. It's both shiny and not shiny. <laughs> or something. Could be shiny, who knows? No one knows. Schrodinger's Togepi. Exactly! Exactly! So if you're gonna do a bad code, hey, it does the trick. Ah! Let's keep going. Alright. I, I was just seeing if, if it was reasonable that we could do it to get a shiny Tokopi, but I don't think it's worth my time. I really don't think it's worth my time. Okay, we're good to we're good to pass through. Miracle seed, good stuff. A stream where I see reads a stream, yeah. Mother. Was that mother of holy? Was that your name? mother of unholy? I do. I do. What about the? There's a gift EV. It can be shiny. Yeah. You could reset for that if you like. You can't release. No, you can't. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't count as catching a non-shiny because it doesn't register in the Pokédex. That is true. It's technically not. Slowly smarter. Thanks for the three months, by the way. Appreciate the support. Do, 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 do. Total is going to evolve the next level. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to let it. Who's looking shiny? Hard to say. I don't know. Intimidate. Mega Gengar looks cool. Yeah. Hmm. Would you guys recognize the shiny Pokemon you found in the wild? Yes. Yeah, so shiny Pokemon that show up in the wild, they have a sparkle around them. Whereas when you're hatching eggs, they don't. Why am I holding scissors? I don't know. Just hold something else. It's... Maybe my water bottle. It's comfy. Shandy Giratina. What happened to the reset counter? Nothing. It works great, doesn't it? Item, please. Thank you. Do, 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 do. So when you get a new shiny, whenever it shows up. Whenever it shows up. That's it. How many resets were used to get a shiny for alligator or shiny Totodile? 1,352. We did a few extra with the Toto Tokopi just to see, but it wasn't really use it useful. <clears throat> Yo, Oggy Dog. It's still three months. Welcome back. A thousand resets? Yeah! It actually isn't that much, considering. It's actually not that much. 
Stretch. Static me, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, easy. Oh, my God. Like, I told you guys I'm lucky. And we got it in friggin' 1,300 attempts. It's not a lot. I'm a lucky guy. I told you. Hmm. We're almost at the Poké Center, though. We'll be fine. Yeah, I think with the uh, the shiny odds and the female of our Totodile, I think it was about a 1 in 64,000 chance. Because female Totodiles are very, very, very uncommon. If you get a shiny Pokemon right before red, I guess we'll have it. Doo -doo. Thanks, the third stage of Lumpy Gravy. Thank you so much. Kippy Kai. Kip Kippy Kai. Kai Kai. Kai Pai Ki. <laughs> Thanks for the four months. <laughs> Welcome back. I appreciate it. Will I even be able to run? Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. Do, 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 do. How are you going to kill Gyarados with the water type? I'm not going to kill Gyarados. What an eight chance for f Ooh, whoopee! Look at him! He's so whoopy! Look at him! He's so whoopy! Oh, where are the cards? Oh, they're in the other area. Whooper used Mudshot. Oh no, Mudshot. I'm sorry, Whoopy boy. You're so strong. You're so strong. It's okay. You'll be okay. Ooh, Sir Staggles, thanks for the four months. OMG, is that a shiny? Yeah, it is. Alright. Poké Center. Beautiful. Do 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 do. This is the most ambitious challenge so far. This is going to take so long. I don't know. I don't know if it's the most ambitious challenge. We'll see. So the title, this seems miserable. It's not so bad. We got a shiny Totodile. Only took four hours. Got our first, first Pokemon ready to go. Do, 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 do. What challenge took you the longest to complete? Uh, how long did Pokemon Platinum no damage? Do, 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 do. Like, in stream time. 20 minutes? Okay. That sounds about right. Yo. Nine Ninjas is gonna evolve. What? Nine Ninjas is evolving! Oh, <gasps> look at that sickle mohawk! Ten inches. Arch angle. Thanks to the prime. Appreciate it. We're saving right now. Ten inches. Found a shiny. I did. Yes. Look at him. Look at him. Or sorry. Look at her. With a shiny little crocodile. What a cute little Krakena she is. So shiny. So shiny. 
Am I allowed to use a shiny Gyarados? Well, yeah, it's a shiny only challenge. Of course you can use a shiny Gyarados. Okay. Why do people keep asking that? Uh, they, they're not reading the challenge command. That's why. It should be a rule that you can't use repels to maximize your chance of shinies. Repels don't affect shiny odds whatsoever. Repels don't affect them at all. Does not affect it in the slightest. T-Burns, thank you for gifting a sub to 10 inches. 10 inches. Welcome to the ant colony. Good sub, good sub. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't use repels in case I come up against one. Yeah, sure, I won't use repels. I won't use repels, so we have the maximum chance of getting it because then we'll see more Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Level 19, two more levels and we get Ice Fang. Such a good move. Is his name nine inches because he is nine inches? No, it's because my hand is nine inches wide. Planning on grinding a legendary? Oh, uh, we'll see. If you guys really want me to, we could, but we'll see. This is so cool. I've never had a shiny in a challenge before. <laughs> I mean, none, none that I've caught. The eel, thanks for the nine months. I appreciate it. Look at it. I know that I didn't get one. No, it was diseased. It wasn't shiny. It was sick. It was very sick. Ugh. Making grinding a legendary a sub goal. You know what? Sure. We'll make a sub goal if we reach like a certain amount of subs in that stream by the time we get to Lu Luigi. We'll grind for it. Does that sound fair? Grand is nine inches wide? Yeah, ten if I push it. I did the right thing by putting it out of misery, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. 1k resets is pretty lucky it is, yeah. And it'll be full odd soft reset. You could have had Buizzle on the first one? No, I couldn't have. Uh, I didn't have the, the right ball to catch it with the high enough percent odds. It had, uh, it almost guaranteed would have failed and would have cost me the run. And we'd have to reset and grind for another three hours. Do 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 All right, right at there. Nine inches. Almost at Ice Fang. Level 21, I believe we learned it as a Krokona. Do. All right. I'm feeling good. Why would it have failed the run? Uh, so... When I encountered the Buizel, I had been grinding for around two hours, maybe two and a half. To level up. If I were to try and catch the shiny Buizel in that situation, I would have had to use um, a Pokeball, which had, I believe, less than a quarter chance of working. And all that Buizel knows, I believe, is attacking moves, or most of them are attacking moves. It, it basically, it was less than a 25% chance to catch it. But if I do it after the gym, First off, it has, uh, I, I can get a netball after the gym, which has a two-thirds chance to catch or something like that. But also, if he happens to hit me, I can just reset to the second gym and not lose any time at all. So that's why I killed the shiny Buizel. 
Because I didn't lose any time to catch it later. And I had almost no risk. Ziggy, thanks for the five months. Appreciate the support. Do, do, do. You literally use a buizel. I just explained why I didn't catch the shiny buizel. Did you not? Did, did you not hear any of the words that came out of my mouth? <laughs> a quarter chance to lose three hours of my life, or a two th or a one third chance to lose two minutes. What is better? Trust me, the shiny buizel, I had a either a 25, the, if I caught a shiny buizel, I'd have a 25% or a 75% a chance or higher to lose three hours of my life. Or if I were to catch a regular buizel later on, I would have a one third chance to lose two minutes instead. Which is much better. If he breaks out, then he didn't catch it. How's the force of reset? It attacks you. If it breaks out of a ball, it'll attack you, and you will lose. Thanks to the tier one mimic madness. I appreciate the sport. Welcome to the ant colony. I really do appreciate it. Let's fight you. Are you gonna continue this tomorrow? I do this every Wednesday. We are doing this every Wednesday until I'm done. Yeah, I didn't see a shiny buizel in this challenge. I saw a shiny buizel in my Pokemon Platinum, no damage list. No damage list, no damage. Altair, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you. Killing it made better content too? Yeah, exactly. See so yeah, neck every Wednesday, we'll do this until we're done. What stream will I do tomorrow? Tomorrow we are doing Breath of the Wild meme speedruns. We'll be doing death percent, go home and die percent, rake in a lake percent, get laid percent. Um, I think there's one more that I forgot about. There's a few. A lot of meme speedruns. What even is go home and die percent? So you, you go home and then you die. That is go home die percent. In Breath of the Wild. Do get late percent? I will, I will. Do you have to buy the house? No, you just go to the Shrine of Resurrection. Do, 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 do. Yeah, get late percent as you uh, do some funky stuff with Paya. All right, we need to talk to Kurt. Is this a ROM hack or regular heart gold soul silver? Completely normal soul silver. Nice alpha dog, that's awesome. Is this a Nuzlocke? Uh, so let's say this is a Nuzlocke, unless I lose a battle. In which case, no, it was never a Nuzlocke. What are you talking about? Yo, rocket music's pretty good. What do you do with Paya? You get laid. What's a Nuzlocke? If your Pokemon faint, they're dead. You can't use them ever again. Alright, bring it on. Ratata. Level 9, I'm level 20. I'll crush you. Stomped one hit KO. Easy. Do -do 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 
Remember, I couldn't get past the tree? That was really suitable because he kept using cut. As a kid, you just don't understand why it wouldn't work. Nice, Strawberry Frog. When will you get another Mon? Uh, it'll be... The fifth badge? I think. I think right after the fifth badge, we'll be able to get uh, another shiny. Four technically, but we need Surf. You can use Surf with the fourth gym badge, really? I had no idea. Are you doing a shiny badge quest? What's a shiny badge quest? Flinch, baby! Nice, nice. Well, consoles is on. This is Nintendo DS. I should get a shiny before each gym. I would prefer to have fun. I'd prefer to have fun, I think. How else do you get the Chuck, the fifth gym leader? Oh, yeah, Whitney's only the third gym leader. Yeah, you only do, uh, you get on the fourth badge. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I mixed them up. Do, 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 do. See videos on YouTube. Fun gaming. Challenge is going well. What's up? Meltang. Meltang will be easy. We'll freeze it with an Ice Fang. Calling it now. Calling it now. Whitney has never been a problem in these challenge runs, I don't think. Has it? Has Whitney ever been a challenge in these runs? I'm not quite sure. How many badges are we at? One badge. Took four hours to get the starter. We'll try to get nine inches. 1,352 attempts. Hey buddy, how are you? Proton? Doing well? Gonna do no damage? October. In October we will. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, Whitney is only a problem if you're bad, so we shouldn't have any problems with Whitney. Ellsbury, thanks for the Prime. Appreciate it. I'm just kidding. Whitney's kind of tough. If you're not prepared, Whitney is really difficult. If you don't know what to expect. Nine inches grew to level 21! Ice Fang! Beautiful, yes. Okay. Uh, honestly, Scratch. I think Leer might be useful. Hmm. All right, everybody's saying scratch. I trust you. I trust your judgment. Coughing. Coughing. Smog mist, beautiful. It's scared. Ice Fang is better than scratch. Yeah, it is. It for sure is. Good. All right, not bad. Let's go fight the uh, the second gym now. We're actually moving pretty fast now that we have um probably teleport to his house now. I think. Well, we're, we're going pretty fast now that we have um yeah a Pokemon. Any more stories? I don't know. We were telling we were saying a story once we got the the shiny. No. We go for a shiny legendary. If we get to a certain sub count, I'll dumb do it. Time will tell. What's your nature? I think it's uh. 
great. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm gonna buy 20. Yes. Alright. Just so we have enough in case we encounter just a random wild one. Tainery Banth! Thanks for the seven months. Hello there again. Hello. Do we have... Okay, we haven't been healed yet. Boom. Ice Fang is good for Scyther. It is flying, yes. Uh, now that we have Ice Fang, we should be able to take out most of the Pokemon pretty easy because they're either like easy bug types or like Paris kind of thing. The sub count you can see is on the top right there. We're at 7784 subs currently. Um, yeah. Yeah, Ice is a really good uh, offensive move. Oh, right, they changed the gems. All right, I want to fight this trainer. That was not the person I wanted to fight. Uh, I want to fight this guy. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm gonna fight all the trainers. We're grinding a little bit. Is the sorcery not too much? I just got here, and the first thing I see is you giving Nurse Joy nine inches. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> It's a good name, it's a good name. You guys have good taste in Pokemon names for sure. <laughs> uh, the bit continues. <laughs> I picked her name, I mean I did pick her name, but you guys were like, you guys made me. Yeah, you, I said, if you guys remember, I can name it that. And then all of the people in chat spammed nine inches, nine inches, nine inches, nine inches, nine inches. If you guys just forgot about it, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had to do that. Good luck on the challenge. Thank you, Deadly Dice. I wonder how nine inches is feeling. We should talk to nine inches. She's so shiny. Just because chat spammed it doesn't mean you have to do it. Anything chat spams I have to do, Alex. That's just how it works. Tramblay, thanks for the two months. All right. Let's talk to you. Play the mods? I play with the mods all the time. Sundays. We hang out and play games. It's great. Wow. Nine Inches is very eager. My Nine Inches, she's very eager, huh? Oh, I guess I guess it's not how that works or else you guys would have been uh... Wait, if I have only one Pokemon does this make this easy? It totally does if I have only one Pokemon it just makes this easy nice Unless this brings me back down. No. All right, let's get the second gym badge Hey, every what's up? I have a sneaky suspicion the mods want to be paid. I think it's just kind of a meme that the mods have. Uh, okay. Gym battle. Let's go. I'm Bugsy.
Can you solo with refrigerator? For alligator? Uh, yes. I think so? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, Ice Fang. Almost. Fury Cutter me. I dare you. Fury Cutter me. I dare you. Do it. Leer. Leer. Bugsy is male, but the sight is female. Nine inches missed? How do you miss with... How do you miss? Whatever. Whatever. How do you feel making 4,458 people yawn? How do you feel being tied up for 10 minutes for breaking the rules? Does it feel good? Aim was off, I gotta get better at that. Yeah. Frozen! This Metapod is not do- I mean, it wasn't doing anything anyways. But this Metapod is doing nothing, dude. Nothing. Easy. You saw Nine Inches is very eager on the thumbnail, and clicked immediately. <clears throat> Mr. Zep, thanks for the Prime. Is this all the gym battle is? Is it literally just a Kakuna, a Metapod, and a Scyther? Is that it? Well, I guess we got the second badge. Okay, sure. Contains U-turn, probably never gonna use that. Let's get out of here. Do -do -do -do. Guess we have to undo it. Oh wait, I was so dumb, I just need to hit the blue switch. I am an idiot. I am an idiot! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 All of your Pokemon just follow you or just one? Just one in this game. Alright, how does Nine Inches feel? Your Pokemon caught the scent of smoke. What? Holy crap, a starter is a shiny. Well, yeah. Of course it is. It's a shiny only challenge. I had to reset over a thousand times to get a shiny starter. The smoke you just gave Bugsy. Yeah, burned through that team. Doo doo. Got that nine inches trailing behind me. And it's the boy! <laughs> Tell me something. Team Rocket has returned, yes? Alright, Ghastly. Alright, take out that Ghastly. Bite him. Easy KO. Not a problem. Oh. Level 23. Send out Bayleaf. Oh, Bayleaf. Bayleaf, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but this is your time to, to faint. Oh, freeze. No, Razor Leaf. Oh. Mm. It won't KO. Very nice. Easy. Razor Leaf did nothing. Even if it crit, we were fine. Do 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 do. Ice Fang!
Good stuff. We defeated the boy. I only won because your Pokemon are weak. Yeah, that's right. Your Pokemon are weak. Get out of here with those weak as heck Pokemon. Mine are sparkly and perfect. <laughs> uh, no problems whatsoever. Ilex Forest. Perfect. Alright. Um, I mean, Ice Fang, why not? Should take it out. Is this a Nuzlocke? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a Nuzlocke where I can only catch the first Pokemon I encounter in each route. Um, if it's not shiny, I can't catch it. But also, there is a shiny clouds where if there's a shiny Pokemon, I can catch it. <laughs> uh, and if, any, if at any point my starter goes down, it's not a Nuzlocke anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. Firefish noticed you. That's right. You better run. Do, do. We try to catch another Pokemon. We will, yes. We absolutely will try and catch another one. Okay, you tell it's shiny. It has that sparkle around it, and it looks a different color. Yo, we caught it. Yo, we caught one. Let's go, baby. Did you expect to take more? Honestly, I'm lucky, personally. I'm, I'm a very lucky individual. I expected to be able to get the shiny today. That was the goal. Get the shiny today. And uh, that's what I wanted. And so we, we got the shiny today. That's what I wanted. That's what we got. <sighs> What's your opinion on Sword and Shield? It was okay. Just okay. Alright, leveling up. We level up level 32, I think, right? Ooh, all right, found a revive. Excellent. Just came back for a couple hours. Can't believe you named it nine inches. I mean, chat. I said if chat reminded me, I'd do it. And here we are. Is it the most useless shiny? I'm, if we get a, a Pokemon that's like, like a Metapod that's shiny, I'm catching it, and it's becoming like the the leader of the team. Like we're gonna use that all the way through. We're gonna make it incredible. <laughs> I, I have a feeling in my heart that there's a very good chance we catch um, there's a very good chance that we catch the um, another shiny this run like just by chance you know I just got that feeling Are intentionally taking encounters? Yeah, I'm never using any repels. We got cut. We're able to go. Oh, the extra resets for? We screwed around and tried to get a shiny Togepi, but it was just going to take too long. All right. So we got to use it. Unfortunately, because we got the good starter, nine inches can cut. Excellent. And it's probably gonna be Leer. Sorry. I think this is the only time we actually need cut. We can delete it next time we get the chance. Other stars can learn cut, but this one can also learn surf. T Dogs, thanks for the two months. Do -do -do -do. Oh, 
Also planning on beating Kanto. We'll, we'll vote. Once we finish uh, the Elite Four, you guys will have a vote and we'll finish if we need to. Can't delete until Blackthorn. We will delete it at Blackthorn though, for sure. Move deleters in Blackthorn. Takes a while to get to, unfortunately, but that's how far. How many gyms you got? Two gyms so far. What's up, girl? Hello. Come on, oh girl, poor lost in the dark, whatever. I do not remember you. No, I kind of sped up. I'll show you how to get out of the forest. All right, I get uh, yeah. Yo, streaks in my pants, thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Yeah, you need Surfer Gym 5 as well. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you need Surf to progress. After gym four. Let me get it out. Bo, 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 do, do, do. Paris. So what would be the worst Pokemon to get a shiny? The least useful Pokemon in battle. Samnich, thanks for the prime. Appreciate the support. Welcome to the Anklon Man. Parasect is okay, it has okay attack. Sunkern. Sunkern would be kinda bad. Dunsparce is incredible. What are you talking about? Hmm. Pokemon streams are every Wednesday. Flail. Uh, no. Yeah, give up on Flail. Unknown. Yeah, unknown. How did no? How did so few people? So few people say unknown. It's actually crazy. A ratata. Uh, uh, ra -ta -ta. Bite. We should be able to make it through this pretty easy. So this challenge is single Pokemon unless extremely lucky. No, we'll probably use two. We'll see. Whoops. Don't Santa tag me. That's okay. Dude, dude, first stream, Harris Merkel, welcome to the stream. How do, how do I have so much patience? I just, it's a good time. I don't know. You can get a heart, an unknown in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Unknown is when they were introduced. Yeah. It's spelled U N O W N. Yeah. You stream for much longer? We'll see. I think we're getting close to the end here. I think we're getting pretty close to the end. You see, it's even nighttime in the game. Uh, I don't want to fight them yet. Oh, okay. I guess we are. Whatever happened to the one in small ant? What do you mean? The one in small ant. anyone there was never a one you know what it it's probably um what's it called the uh, Mandela effect so many people were Mandela affected by small at one for some reason yeah it's so strange Diapodome thanks for the six months Yeah. What about your Twitter handle? Ah. You've exposed me. Yeah. Small ant one is still on Twitter. Sorry, I gaslighted chat. I, I didn't. I, I just. I just don't. I don't know, I just didn't want the one. I'm sorry. I just didn't want the one. Boop, 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 boop. Let me introduce you. This is Andy's a trainer. Lyra, I don't care. I don't care, Lyra. I don't care. Let me, I don't, I don't care. Lyra, I do not care. I do not care. I don't, I don't care. Let me, I want out.
Okay. Ooh! You can touch your Pokemon as they follow you? I did, yes! Let's see what my 9 inches has to say. I don't think so, Abby. I don't think I did. Okay! Yo! Sniff, sniff, something smells good. What smells good, 9 inches, huh? I swear, don't give me a sh- Mmm, okay. <sighs> do 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 do. Okay. Good stuff. What are you? What is? What is that? Nine inches. What you got? Nine inches looks very happy. I'd be too. All right. <laughs> do you want to remake it or leave it? Just leave it. It's fine. All right. Do do. Come back to a Pokemon named Nine Inches. We got a little bit weird. All right, but I guess it's just Whitney time, isn't it? You know what? I think this is a good stopping point. I think this is a good stopping point for the day. I've been going for six hours. I gotta edit a video. I'm going to make sure. I am not going to sleep until a YouTube video is uploaded on my channel tonight. How I got the pencil sharpening. How the world record or whatever. Something of that nature. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for all of the support. It seems like you guys really like this challenge for whatever reason. I don't know why. I literally just reset for four hours. But I guess you guys like shiny hunting. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. We're gonna raid someone today. Um, and uh, let's see who it's gonna be. Who are we going to? Yo, we haven't raided Ludwig in a hot minute. I feel like we haven't raided Ludwig in a hot minute. We're gonna raid Ludwig. All right. Hope you guys like Ludwig's stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. We are doing this challenge specifically next week on Wednesday. Every Wednesday we're doing this until I finish. But tomorrow we are doing Breath of the Wild meme speedruns, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Be sure to follow the stream. I always do a Pokemon challenge every Wednesday, yes. Be sure to follow the stream, though. Um, check me out on Twitter, on YouTube, anywhere that you're active. Check me out. I'm not active on Instagram. I'm working on it. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go. Good stream. Very good stream. <laughs>